All right, Hajime Mashtenshi, here we go. It's time to hopefully just finish this. See what happens. All right. All right. On the first day. Okay, I did not.
Okay. I'm back, and I should be alive. Okay. Shouldn't have to deal with any more garbage. Hopefully. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, either way, I am... I've got a stone fang now. I've got... Magic I need. Stone Fang should be right over here. The Stone of the Burrow King. It is interesting that it's the fourth arch that seems to be gone. Well, just trying to keep on going through. There, it's short, so. And we did the hardest part. City of the Burrows, Keepers of the Huge Hell, most stubborn excavators supported the soldiers of Boatari, had their souls taken, lacking their own will, mine must continue working. Okay. So we're going to the lava cave area, which is gonna have that big dragon we saw before. Interesting, that's in front of that tablet. Big thing is that the blacksmith. Oh, and they're. No, no, this is the filthy man. <laughs> Hello. Soul. Bond goods for souls. The man a grindstone and what just died? Pickaxe, don't really need that. Protrusion used for piercing damage, local specialty. Our little nice to be placed. Is there a tinker with stone? Don't bother old man. Get away with anything. You. Golden opportunity. Have you? He's Sparkling not wizard, got five die. stones. Oh, Nest is, can't give it away. Thank you. Okay, I guess Where are you? the question is, I actually want to check something else. In particular, there was a big, big guy from before. No, I mean the draggling merchant. I would like to buy something from him, but I'm not sure I can go in yet. Trap set by the fat official and embodiment of Alan's madness. Yeah, well, it's... More that it just dies off on its own without me. Okay, and I guess the question is, is the Draggling Merchant gonna be back here or not? Okay. Thanks. Ooh, alright. I did not want that. Thanks. Okay, so we have to bait the first attack. Late Moon Grass and Grindstone. So this is actually a decent place to get grass. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Ooh. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Uh -huh. At least we have a good amount of shield pierce, but... The question is... I just want to get back to that merchant over there, because... Thanks, thanks. Merchant over there. Draggling merchant has... Some useful items. In particular... He has a club, just a standard club, which is totally unupgradable, but that's actually good. So it means we can use it to upgrade into certain boss soul weapons without having to upgrade it at all. Okay, cool. Thanks. Turpentine. I'm just gonna go back through this area. Hello then, hello there. Big thing is that eventually the Dregling Merchant will move over to the next Archstone, which I would not like to happen at the moment. Uh huh. Avoiding death would be a good thing. Let's go down here and see if we can find. Oh, but right, we have Soul Ray over here. Hmm. I guess the big thing is I should actually probably be using the Wooden Catalyst, because it's actually got slightly higher spell power. Which is not what I really expected, but it's true. Okay, and here we are. We can kill a few of you just for kicks. Okay. okay we have less MP now, but it shouldn't really make a huge difference. Unless it was a long boss battle or something. And is the Dregling Merchant still here, or is he gone? Okay, he is still here because I haven't breached the color of Swag, which is good. Hello. Hello. Let's buy a bit of... Let's buy a club. Okay, cool. Hold it, Fred. Goodbye. So I will put that away shortly. 
It's decent to have, but we don't really need it for much. The spear is interesting too. But again, I don't really need them for anything. And frankly, right, I my equip burden has gotten higher and more lenient. But I should still probably like to get rid of some things before I just go ahead. Well, we'll see. Back to an archstone. Thank you. And alright. Is that an item drop on somebody or a No no, that's just the burning fire of these regulings. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I love my big thwacking stick. It's still crazy that no weapon like this exists in any other Souls games. It's... This is the only time they made a bludgeoning polearm. Actually, I think... The... You might have some hammer... Sort of pull hammers that might be somewhat similar. But... Specifically, a quarter staff is unique. Haven't had any, they haven't made a quarter staff since. Okay. Well, we don't really need to kill any of these guys, but it's fun. Oh goodness! Come on. Okay. Big thing is just that it's doing primarily magic damage, which does make it a lot stronger than it would otherwise be. That's such a bad thing. And now that dragon is dead, so we can just run past through here. It's interesting that this specific spot just keeps on smoking, though. Okay, oh, but should have gone back to uh, the inner ward, the Tower Knight Archstone. I just want to see what I'd be able to find if I just ran back through here. Oh, right, there are more phalanx blobs around here, right? Hello. And yep, Phosphorescent Pool just still makes very short work of them. Okay. Let's use a bit of cover. So running, running in or even just walking in after they toss a spear makes me more than safe. Okay, cool. Alright, and sort of sharp stone. Alright, thanks, thanks, thanks. Cool. And again, there's no real reason to kill these guys, but it's funny. Alright then, alright. Hmm, alright. The hard stone. Some of this. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, that's all really. I guess the big question is, did that in part to see if I could get another level out of it? Yeah, I gotta drop some things off. The Nexus first. Oh, if oh, if not for fun, for items, it's very very different. I mean, for possible levels. It's interesting how she changes position in the Nexus. No, I do need more. Okay. So let's drop some things off over here. Let's deposit some items. And we can hold on to our grass. Big thing is that all these shards can go. Molten poisonous or a chunk of moonlight stone. That can go. That can go. Those can... Eh, yeah, those can go too. So that spiked shield, spikes on the front, attacking used to pierce for weapons, does not often see use in combat. Where did I even get that? Oh, whatever. And, hmm. Just keep all those rings. Fight on our behalf. I can. See if we can repair anything, if anything needs repairing, and the pole does need an okay amount of repairing, but it, it is interesting how, and I guess Bloodborne is kind of similar in that. Sort of rarer items take a bit more to repair. More skills required. Okay. Need your business. Is that all? I guess. Let's go over to Stone Fang. Alright then. <laughs> okay. This is where we'll start over here. Of course, you can always do that. You don't even need to ask. Okay, and I don't think I can get up on that, but I think that might be a an elevator eventually? I'm not quite sure. Over this way? Clearly not. Go home. Then, unknown hero's soul, and... I try dropping down there, that would just kill me plainly. Alright. Mm -hmm. The most Italian thing. That, that kind of scares me. 
I want to know what metric you're using to measure the Italianness of a statement, then. And things are falling down. This enemy is susceptible to spells. Oh, this is actually a bit reminiscent of the Sands Fortress from Dark Souls 1. Oh, okay. That's interesting, because that took a bit more. Oh, and that's magic grease, basically. Aw. Okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, they killed a horse over there, too. Wow. Okay, so that guy up there can drop down, or probably not. Through the ceiling ahead. So presumably, this will start the elevator, and we can use this to go up. There we go, cool. Question is, what if we went down? It says, beware of the ceiling. So would it crush me? Is it spiky, or... Let's see. Or is it... Huh. Some kind of potter nostril lift. But, oh, and a found official is over here. Let's just use our own flame on you. Oh, alright. Interesting. Cool. Oh, well, I will say... When I was in Europe, I got to try a bidet when we were in Italian hotels. And I very much did appreciate the experience. It was pleasant. And wait, you took some damage already? But So these are the scale miners, I believe. They're exceptionally weak to magic. And a crushing battle axe plus one. Alright. The big thing is, now that the rocks have stopped... It is pleasant. It is... One of the arguments in defense of the continued existence of Italy, I will say. Let's drop down. See what happens if we go over the top. Hmm. Over the top? And that, is that an item over there? I can't quite see it. It's definitely going to be related to making the elevator work again. Let's just see what might be at the bottom. Go all the way down here. Will we find something to note? Or anything at all? Or what? Oh, I see. Oh, this is a colorless... Colorless demon. Hello. Nice. Okay. Soul tendency is black. One, two... Oh, wow, that was great damage. Okay, cool. Take your time. I'll do my best. The demon will be destroyed. So that was nice. It's good that we went down there then. Okay, we gotta get back on. So now, in theory, I could go back to 1-1 one, one, get another. The big thing is that until I get the Red Hot Demon Soul from the Flame Worker, I won't even be able to upgrade the thing. So... And upgrading is what I want for the sake of increasing mana regen and also just damage. Okay. Tunnel City. Lots of things in here. The question is... Is there going to be anything behind any of these boxes, or is it just... This seems to be pretty... Pointless. Okay, but the miners take good damage from... That, which is good. Hello, hello. Hi. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, that's easy. Scale miners go on. Basically without a fight. Okay. Where are the enemies rush? The enemy is the American rock band Rush. Interesting. There are all those pots over there, and I'm worried. Good guy. Presumably at least some of them should have a grab attack or something then, but... Hmm. What are they even doing then? So you looked different. Question is... Oh, and yep. Okay, cool. So, there was something there, and... These dogs and all these. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. The official end. So just dodging the dog jumps is actually not bad. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright then. And to get on top, on t over that bridge. Oh, they dropped a bunch of mining. A bunch of weapon upgrade ores. Interesting. Well, we're not using that much in terms of... Okay, ooh, the interesting thing is that they're 
pretty. Ooh, that was big damage. Oh, that was also big damage. I may have made a silly mistake there. Alright, well, whatever. Big thing is, I... Mm, item burn's not that bad. What rings do I have? I've got Fragrant Ring on. Magical Sharpness could be okay. But probably mostly for bosses. Hello, hello. And... Oh, right, you have to... To end this thing, maybe? Well, the big thing is... I think you just took less damage for whatever reason. Shard of Clearstone. Chunk of Hardstone. Chunk of Sharpstone. And the Clearstone is for... Magic. Let me see. No, I mean, no, it's for refined weapons, for quality weapons. Thank you, and you can't get me through the wall. So you don't really think to, so keep on going through. Thank you, and oh, alright. Cool. Classic, classic. Alright. What's over here, then? Let's continue checking the side. Checking the corners. Okay. Hmm, mm hmm. Okay. Here and okay. Oh, a free pickaxe. That's fun. Okay, so if I went in through this side, would I even find anything? Would I even find anything? Oh, we'll see. Hmm. Okay. In that case, in that case, so that bridge across there is going to be relevant. Down here is. Oh, great. I should have seen that. And wait, what? No, what? Really? Okay. Can't accept that outcome. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Alright. Cool. That was a little embarrassing, I will say, but we didn't die die, so... At the very least, there was no death that we couldn't save scum our way out of. Okay, getting a good amount of grass here in Stone Bang. The big thing is that to be fair, the knights in Boletaria dropped a lot too. So the big question is, are we going to get invaded or lots of eye stones? Okay, big thing is going to be dealing with that official. A little bit more grass would be good as a result. On one hand, all this crescent grass is quite weak, but it also weighs me down pretty significantly as long as I continue holding on to it. So I'm probably going to want to get rid of it and use it just to maybe free up some item burden. Spider stone, that's for bows. Sharp stone for sharp weapons, but in the end, quality is better most of the time. Okay, we just gotta make sure we don't... Ooh... Are any of these gonna be vaultable, is the question. We're just over where we were before, but... If we drop down here, we can... find something which presumably might be kind of valuable. You'd think. Okay, I, alright. One, and both of you got gotten. And... Okay, we can't, and those are stairs. Shard of Queerstone, Junk of... Oh, lots of Queerstone. Soldier's Soul. One thing people have remarked on in Demon Souls, and I guess you could argue that Elden Ring actually kind of did it in its own way, is that the various areas of the game generally tend to have a specialty in terms of what items you can usually get as drops. Because Lotria had a bunch of spice, Bolotari had a bunch of gra grass, this place is clearly smithing ores. So the question is going to be what Shrine of Storms and Valley is. Because I'm not sure what it even could be. Okay. Let's just keep on going over this way, and... Oh, is this... Oh, this is tough. We're gonna have to roll our way through it. Oh, flame sling, sling is... Roll up? Oh, alright. Thanks. Let's... Ooh, alright. I did not temper that. I, okay, cool. Great. And... We're just gonna strafe. Wait for... Other uh, opportunities to hit. Thanks. Oh, but the fire is actually can stun lock you as long as I'm fast enough tossing it. Something like not flame toss, but the one that just 
shoots fire really, really fast would be even better, but... Huh. Get down here and then... Back across... That official is actually really annoying. Safe place? Not really. Left. I know that there are some illusory walls in Demon Souls, but they're a lot less common in Demon Souls compared to Dark Souls for one. And Unknown Soldier's Soul, and oh, I think you have to use this lever to open up this gate. Yeah. There's a fog wall there too, but you could use this as a shortcut if you really wanted. Presumably that should open the gate up top. And yep, that opens the gate up top, which for whatever reason is also a cutscene. Thought it might be because that wheel started spinning, but that wasn't even the case. Okay. So the boss of this area is going to be the Armor Spider, which is, among other things, just exceptionally weak to magic. So that's how I'll focus on taking it out. And the big question is, given that Ring of Magical Sharpness does not seem to affect just magic damage normally, but just... Oh, Ed's Grindstone. That's cool. It's inside that breakable pile of objects. Yeah, is that in... Ring of Magical Sharpness seems to increase the damage of all spells, magic damage or fire damage, but not the damage of just weapons and such that deal magic damage. So presumably I would think, I guess the question is, it says it increases damage from magic spells, so I wonder if it increases damage from all elemental sources or just things that would count as spells when used as an enemy, or maybe even just magic damage and not fire damage. It's interesting, and it could be interesting to test, but especially since the Fextra Wiki for Demon Souls is kind of non-specific on points like these, because normally I just look that kind of thing up, but the Wiki does not say anything about that on that topic. The thing is that there's another blacksmith in here, Blacksmith Ed, who is the better blacksmith as compared to Baldwin, but... So the question is, can we... Okay, we still deal really good damage just from the bludgeoning. So they're exceptionally weak to any kind of... Some point of Meltstone. To any kind of physical damage. Meltstone intense heat... Oh, melts all their ores, returns to its original state. Ah, so it's like a Shriving Stone. Dark Souls 3. Or... I think... I think it was a Shriving Stone, because in Dark Souls 2, I know it was called something else. In Dark Souls 1, you could just instantly revert to previous states by just talking to a blacksmith, paying a nominal fee, but... The question is, is Armor Spider rare? And I know there was also another, some kind of black phantom there, but... Oh well, oh well. All these... Fire wizards and oh, all right. The big thing is we take minor damage just from touching them. Okay, short of dragon stone, which is the actual fire upgrade type. I guess I wonder, and there'd clearly be no reason to do it, but could we actually soul ray them through here? We can, and again, there really is no point to doing it. But it's funny, and we killed all the. No, there's one left. Let's kill one other wizard, just for the sake of it. Ooh, ooh, I... Huh. Might not be able to do it because of the arc of my spells. Maybe, maybe. Let's try again. Huh. Come on, come on. And yeah, maybe with a bow, but there really is no point to that. Uh, I don't know. It's funny enough. Well, oh, something like God's Wrath could definitely do it, but I don't have that, and I'm not going to get it from Dragon God, probably. Safe here, but... Oh, okay, well, alright. That was a bad idea. Okay. Alright. Cool. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Okay. All right then. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. All right. 
All right. Okay, and oh, the wizards are still mostly. Oh my goodness, that was an attack for sure. Okay. Is that half moon? Half moon, late moon, full moon. Presumably, late would be Gibbous or something. Let's just kill the remaining wizards just for fun. Yeah, okay. A little closer. There we go. Funky little soul ray, and let's not go in the lava this time. There's no reason to do it. Valuable treasure ahead. We have to approach from the other side instead of falling into the lava and just getting killed. And, okay, you deal. You deal a lot of damage just using magic, so... Oh, and a red-hot poker. Thanks. Okay, large sharp sword, and... Cool. Oh, great. And this... Actually, they can drop their great sword, which sadly is not on fire when the player actually use it in valuable treasure ahead. I think, right? Look at this fog wall as a marker of where I need to go. And... Nice! Max sub multiplier is actually not all that much, though. Mirrodin hammer. Lots of hard stone. It's interesting how they notate it. You can only really drop it in stacks of two, it seems. Or maybe each one is an individual drop chance. So they're marking it separately because of that. Crescent moon grass. And what's over here? This is more or less where we started, so this should probably lead the way back to Ed. See what happens. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do this, and there we go. So I think this should lead to Ed. Yep, it's going now, which means some of that. But actually, that's at the start of the area. And just so we don't get too sidetracked, I think I'm gonna go to, through this fog wall. See what happens. It is interesting that, generally speaking, most relevant bosses, except for Maneater, actually, which is funny given how hard it is, are gonna have some level of cutscene prepping you for the fog wall and telling you, oh, there's a boss behind this fog wall. But, oh, okay, so that was a kick, actually. Getting kicks off more often than before, and I don't like that. Okay. Cool. Then let's keep on going. Thank you, thank you. Alright. This is... Large Hardstone Shard. And then, and then, and then. I can't break the bellows. Okay. Mm hmm. What would happen if we actually... Well, we could use fire to break that. Or we could just hit it that way. I think we're just gonna hit it. Oh, interesting. This is certainly a place. Oh, well. Oh, nice. Alright. Did not expect that. I, okay. And wait, what? 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 Huh? Okay. Okay. Well, that was something. Okay. And they said run straight through. It's not a very good idea, huh? Uh, huh. That intro, well, the intro theme honestly sounds a bit similar to the Narwhal theme from Genshin, which I'm not sure how I feel about. Alright, just back over here, remember that elevator, and also there are a number of things over this way too, interesting to me. Oh, and you're all gonna come running eventually, but, oh, come on, alright, well, Okay, I... Well, that was really stupid. Okay. Can't get that crystal lizard down through any means, it seems. Big thing is that it's probably weaker to physical than magic damage. I don't know. I don't know. But they will despawn upon boss... I mean, respawn upon boss kill, but actually permanently despawn if they get away from me, which is incredibly unforgiving. 
That is one thing that Blue Point changed in the remake. But. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Uh -huh. Two Nexus. Nexus is two. Well, whatever. I will run through as fast as possible, kill that crystal wizard over there, and cool. Thanks, and can we kill you? Spider stone! Okay, and what is dropping the rocks? Interesting, okay. And so something is tossing rocks at these enemies, so if we desperately keep our distance, we can probably deal with these guys a bit more effectively. The big thing is these red well, black phantom scale miners don't take much damage at all from that, which is certainly something. Okay. Cool. Cool. Alright. Then, what is tossing the rocks, though? That's the question. And, uh, oh, they just... Enemies are tossing massive rocks. Just in and of themselves. Okay. Oh, but presumably we'd be able to get the drop on them or something. And, wait, what? Oh, you do have to run straight through. Okay. Otherwise, it'll break down under you. Okay. I, okay, so that's what they meant by run straight through. That's kind of cool. Kind of. Still sucks. Okay. All right, then. All right. The big thing is that something up with the window size. Well, whatever. Change the window size inadvertently, and I don't really know how to change it back. Whatever. Hmm. Is there a way to manually set the window size in RPCS3? Let's just check. Hmm. And then the window size set. There are all these other graphical settings that I've played around with a bit, but setting the... <laughs> Well, whatever. That's... Nothing immediately. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter all that much. Huh. The big issue is that it makes window size a little off when... Well, whatever. Just... Oh, but it has... It has its own border issues. Actually, wait. No, it's definitely... The reason the window is weird is because the window is weird and it... Got weird borders that it's not supposed to really have, but... Let me just see. I'm over here now, which... Well, whatever. You just constrain the window size. The fact that you can constrain it Expanded horizontally as well as vertical is really weird, frankly. Oh, whatever. Okay, and this is decent. I mean, horizontally and vertically at the same time, instead of just diagonally, so you can lead, lead to wrong resolutions, basically. A great club, that's great. Unknown soldier soul, and yeah, that broke down. Gotta get back down here somehow. And those mine cards, though. Interesting. Eat a bit more crescent grass. Like a cow. Then, over here is... Did we come through here already? I... Some part of this, for sure. This is... Oh, no, this drum just dropped me back down to where I was before. So that's why... It just looked unfamiliar from a different angle. Now I see. Okay, then. Alright, alright. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Cool. Kill those guys already. And then, and then, and then we'll proceed onward. The guys who are tossing stuff. Depends on whether I can walk onto them from the current distance, but it might be. It might be Soul Ray Fodder. Maybe. Definitely can't actually get over on that side, but. 
big question is, is if I manage to drop down into the minecart, hmm, I, I don't know. What is that wizard over there? That's the real question. Well, okay. Should definitely check out some of that, but we'll see. Up here is the ability to presumably get the drop on those boulder chuckers. Just attack them from behind. So what's over here? This is Crescent Moon Grass. Standard, very standard. And this is Unknown Hero Soul. And a steel shield. Okay, cool. Nice. Cool. Nice. Alright. Close enough that you aren't going to be chucking boulders at me, which is nice. Cool, cool. Thank you, goodbye. Step forward. Ah, because, yeah, presumably it would stop them from throwing boulders. Being closer to them. Yeah, but yeah, the big question is, is there any way to get inside one of the minecarts? Because if so, I feel like it would be a good idea. Okay. And why is that guy down there? Did it... Die? Is it weird? Okay. At least it doesn't damage me when it's already killed. So how could I get inside a minecart? Could I? Could I? Or are these just for show? Can't tell. Hmm. Big thing is that there doesn't seem to be a way to just drop down into it. So there probably isn't one in that case. So to drop down inside, maybe it might be different, but it does not appear to be a way. The question is how I'm going to get over there. Probably looking around through and past this, but who knows really. Let's actually check out that steel shield. It Steel shield needs 18, that's not bad, but much better guard break reduction and a bit more weight. Simply made, high defensive strength. Okay. Huh. Question is, I know that you can upgrade shields, but it's not all that crucial, I believe. And over here we have, can I, oh, that just drops you down, okay. So I don't think that's anything. Hmm. Epic Tunnel City moment. Okay, okay. Keep on running, keep on running. Okay. Hmm. And, and then, and then, just go through here, just loop around to where I need to go, eventually, presumably, but that already went up here. That is, oh, okay, I, huh. Well, I, well, interesting. It's the question is, is there going to be any way to get rid of the lava? There is an item down there, but, hmm. Maybe something like Water Veil, but even still, I'm worried. Hi. And use my superior range to get at these lizards. And oh my, what? It's gotta be a... What if I... Yeah, that kick attack is actually horrible. Huh. And... Might have been a bit overkill. Sort of Dragonstone. There's an item down in the lava itself, which is different. But the fact that it keeps going for those kicks, and I do not want to be using the kick, feels something finicky about the controls. I don't know. There's something down there in the lava. Which is... Oh, I... Okay, cool. Thanks. How did that dog still get me? Well, whatever. I'll live. Tax on the next enemy, and... Those are just ones that died before and I. Okay. Cool. Alright. Ooh, but... Can't actually attack with a shield on. Interesting. Thanks, and... Just block and... Counterattack. Okay. Anything to do, or probably not. Keep on going. 
Actually, since I don't have silver, I don't need to keep my catalyst equipped. I'm not using the silver catalyst for extra mana. No real point to it. And you are false messages. Classic. Okay. That just led to where I was before, but there was an item in the lava. Presumably I would need to die to get, but... In that case, I'll save it for much later when I can... Let's go back through using an eye stone to survive. Let's see. Maybe it could be funny to try using Evacuate in conjunction with that. Evacuate and Water Veil and... The fact that you have to go back to the Nexus to actually change out your equipped spells is a little crazy. Definitely kind of troublesome. A known hero soul. And then pay attention. Okay, to that or to what? And lots and lots of shards. Thank you. The only thing I can think of upgrading that was the S dock. Use that on certain enemies. And there we go. Let's just turn this handle and see what happens. Well, and is this going to drain the lava or what is it going to make start spinning? I? Huh. What's going to do now? This. Wait. And then. Presumably, did that get rid of the. Oh, yup! It send down water to dry up the lava. Nice. So that was big. Actually, very nice. Question is now, what if I drop down directly in? As I know, there was an item. That does make things more convenient. I'm not going to have to try my luck. In that case, pass here is some item, but I think of poison resistance. Then was this one already dead or what? Blacksmith add is relevant too. Large sharpstone shard and half moon grass. Keep on going over this way, which probably unlocks some kind of shortcut to somewhere. Presumably the armor spider would be past here, but we'll see. Come on, come on, and do I hear dogs or what? Come on, come on. Who is past here and what are they? Wait, did I? Oh, this is the other side of that big tower I saw before. I. Let's just use Flame Toss to detonate all this. Hello. Oh, well, I missed. Cool. Alright then. I will. Mmm. -hmm. It's funny you can do that. Doesn't mean I like it. Thanks. And one, two, three. Ooh, all right. And okay, four. And uh, oh well. Okay, that was very very close. This is half moon grass, and probably roll through here. Hi. Hello. Actually, use a couple of crescent grasses. The big thing is that I don't need the Royal Lotus for anything. Not right now. And what did you drop? You dropped Full Moon Grass. That is kind of cool that they have some enemies. So they basically Volatarian enemies to compensate for enemies mostly dropping upgrade materials. Oh, this is not Armor Spider yet, at least. So that cave over there seems relevant, but... Eye stone. Cool. Stone of ephemeral eyes. And this seems relevant. Sounds. Oh, and the spider right here. Fine. Can't go on that, but zoom we should be close. Oh, and people caught in a web. As one does, and oh, someone else using rocks. Fun. Okay. Cool. Assuming took some damage from that fall. Talk to Ed and- oh, another scale miner. Thanks. One, two, three. Dead. Sharp stone and a pickaxe. With a dangerous foe ahead. And who might that be in that case? A dangerous foe. There's walkways over here and I. 
well, let's see. Stone Fang, Stone Fang, Stone Fang. Thank you, or hi. Hello. Okay. That's stuck. Nothing to get by going through there. Hmm. And if we go on this walkway and, oh, presumably this is a giant. Appears to be immobile because it hasn't gone up yet. This is where Spider Stone for Pose. Then. It is interesting that Spider Stone is for bows, because it seems like it's probably in reference to the one boss item bow being the lava bow from the armor spider, which is pretty good. Oh, the Chris Blade. Use that for additional magic damage for one. I. Uh, Phosphorescent Pool is good, but frankly, for a boss fight, I'd probably actually be better off using. The Chris Blade to just increase my damage, but that actually takes Colorless Demon's Souls. I... Uh huh. We'll see. That should be Armor Spider, I think. This is... Shortcut, or... It's just Spider Stone, I think. Chunk of Spider Stone. To go home? I bet you do. Hmm. And then, and then over here, or what happens if we raise this up without us? Will there be anything of note underneath? Probably not. Yeah, and that's just certain death. The thing is, we can actually have the Chris Blade in our other hand, because it increases magic damage. We give magical sharpness. Thank you. Cool. We can use this in conjunction. This actually looks a bit like Wolgarius' well, sword, which is probably why they called it a Chris Blade. Very... Oh, alright. Thanks. And... Ooh, seeing that was hard. And... Dodge. Thanks. Right, and... Ooh, okay. Thanks. And... Okay, that damage is great. But I... Ooh, ooh, okay. Web shot. And... Dodge. Thanks, and ooh, okay. Thanks. And was that too far away or what? Big thing is that didn't deal damage, but I Oh come on, alright. Thanks. Web's annoying, but I okay, cool. Thanks, and uh, okay. But I is that did that get interrupted by some of that or Oh but uh please is annoying. It's not hard as much as it is just annoying, but it is annoying. Huh, okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Cool. Thanks. And, uh, big issue is just the time it takes to... Oh, please. Alright, and to not... Really, really, okay. Let's actually use this. Okay, there's no homing on the... Some of them home in, some of them don't, and the rocks home in, the others don't, and it's kind of idiosyncratic, frankly. And, okay, I, alright. I hate you, actually. I actually hate you. But, uh, hmm. That's actually, we need some fresh spice in our inventory. Some kind of spice. And, uh, oh, come on. Use... And how is that homing? How is that home in? What in the... Okay. Use... Spice... I, okay, oh! It's scratch shot. Big thing is that I do need to be a good deal closer to make this work. And... Oh, really? Come on, you... Really? Really? Okay. And I, well... Alright. This actually really sucks. I'm gonna... Restart that fight. Oh, but I hit the wrong thing. Okay, cool. So I need to be a good deal closer to actually use Sol Ray, so... Honestly, maybe I'll just get close and use... Funny... Funny balking stick, I don't know. Okay. Well, whatever. The big thing is, if I'm close enough, I can... 
kill with a relatively small number of soul rays, but I need to be in. I need to be in range, but I... Wait, what? Huh? It saved during the boss fight? That's so stupid. Okay. He is... I don't have anything like a shortcut for this, so I... Uh, whatever. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Enter this stupid fog. And... Gotta just run in close and- Wait, what? Huh? How did the web just stop me from- The arena here is actually very, very annoying. Oh, what? Okay. Just strafe and- Okay, cool. And at least that's pretty short range, but I- Okay, cool. Right, and move in. Another soul ray on you. Uh, the damage is very, very good. And, cool. And, alright, you okay. Cool. And, just... The fact that you have to shield that is... Annoying. And, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna wait till you spit your... Two, three, and... Get in close. Thank you. Alright, cool. Then, go for your triple. Oh, well, alright. Annoying. And, okay, cool. Just, thanks. And, go for triple or not. Or not, okay, well. Oh, the, well, the fact that I couldn't buffer that was very obnoxious. And I, okay, cool. But, I, uh, the timing, the timing on that is actually really, really annoying. Okay. It's... What? What? Okay. Stupid armor spider. I hate you, actually. Deeply, sincerely. Dodge. And... Thanks. Okay, cool. And... And... Okay. And... Another. And... That did hit, which is nice. Thanks. And... Okay. Cool. And... One more, can we do this? I need a little bit more. Run in and finish this up with a big pokey stick, maybe. I need... I can just wait 20 seconds. Sure. Alright. Cool. Thanks. 13. 1, 2, 3. Presumably I should be able to... Almost, almost. And... Thanks. And I... Okay. No, not like that. Oh, because I re-equipped the priest dagger. Annoying. Should be good. And die. There we go. No more armor spider. Demon destroyed. Okay, cool. Power beyond human imagination. I think I can imagine. Okay. And a renowned soldier's soul. Can't go past most of that web. No time to read messages. If you say so. Go back and actually talk to the blacksmith now. Chunk of spider stone. Drop up a bunch of things. And the only thing is that to go to Ad, you have to take stuff. Hard demon soul. Oh, and pure spider stone. That's cool. And it does make sense because it is a spider. Okay. Get a level now, presumably. Hi there. Thanks. Smiling cuts ether. Thanks. I hope the world be mended. Let's just use one tiny little baby soul. Okay. Get one more level, which I I want to use. Maybe, honestly, the vitality? Maybe. Well, in the end, most this is not all that meaningful. Vitality is good. Thank you. Let's drop off some things. Hello, I'm keeping. Belongings, deposit some items, just deposit all of these. And oh, we're very close to maxing out our burden because all the rocks we picked up. Okay. Clear stone, clear stone. Dragon went fossilized by lava. It's not even a stone so much as... Oh, cool. 
Spiders don't delicate bows, so probably because it's str stringy. Crushing battle axe and go. Pickaxe, pickaxe, great club, mirrored and hammer. And steel, uh, can't use that yet. I might like to try eventually though. And we're, hmm, okay. Saints, saints, Matter of wise men, Sanctorium, Fiends, Master of Weary Bones, indebted to our honorable wait. defenders. Where are you going? Let's go and get a better fire spell and then flame to us this way. Bravo! Thank Demon you. Souls, Foundation, Arts of the Wand, Essence of the Soul, Human Potential is great. Get warding is good. Huge shield wielded by the Tower Knight. Fire spray, front the demon armor, spider soul, continually on while moving. So Yuria gives really good spells, but don't have Yuria yet. Bravo! Thank I you, Kenneth, for my gratitude. So we have age, new magic. Remember some spells, and in place of flame toss, let's equip fire spray. Have enough capacity. There we go. Bring me my More than you can find magician friend. Big thing is, the colorless demon souls we have might actually be better spent on upgrading the crease blade for fights. I'm not sure though. Uh, and see, lots of fire. Really, really efficient too. This is high. Hmm. Crease blade is not taking much durability damage, but. Already have repair as phosphorescent pole needs a lot of repairing. Okay. Oh whatever. Do come. Need your business. Okay. Stone Fang can actually talk to the guy now. Stone Fang tunnel. Cool. Mm -hmm. okay. Head and bold win. Go over this way, and we can take that elevator now and oh! Got you. Hello. Didn't know you were there. And wow, that's really good. Eight shards of hardstone. Okay. But going to Meralda for another colorless demon soul could be nice. The big thing is that the upgrades from this will increase my upgrading the crease blade will increase, but magic damage taken, and magic damage dealt. Which would make it a lot more useful than it currently is. In terms of giving me a magic damage buff. And over here we have a shard of clear stone. And can we... Okay. Alright then. I'm going this way. Okay. Blacksmith should be down here. Hello, hello. There you are. Hi. Huh. Hmm. Seen you around okay. these parts? Bags of Mission is cool. Straight for the door. I'm busy. Not here to chit chat. Forging, forging trains it all the character. Sprite. Presence blesses the weapon. Huh. Demon the the demons. Powerful spirits can boss weapons. Powerful flame. Is an inferno of wrath. Sounds pretty similar to Boldwin. The brothers? The of a deep. Okay. Let's see, can we buy anything we can't? Yeah. It's my time. Oh goodness. That. Oh, so maybe, in theory, if we had somehow gone here from the other way. Well, it explains how he got down there. He probably turned the lever so other people wouldn't be able to bother him. Okay. Well, alright. Go back up. Go back. Big thing is, we need the flame scale demon soul to take on the. Uh, to get an upgrade. So that'll be in a bit. Back to Armor Spider, we should probably teleport back anyway, instead of running through, so... This work better anyway. He is the better blacksmith. For unique fossil weapons. Okay. Hmm. Thing is, all the spies I have is pretty much gone now. Okay. And we have a few more ores that we can drop off. It. What was that? Thomas. Pause it. Let's put these away. Surprising amount needed. Thanks. You have a hot. Don't let them take it from you. Thank you. Big thing is there was a colorless demon soul over here. I think. 
I will. Execution Morale, the execution grounds are open, and now might be a good time to go there, actually, so. I will do just that. Thank you. 163 versus. So we unequip this, this deals. Thanks. Yeah, to the extent that any there's any change, it's incredibly minor. Okay, cool. Wait, Flyer Spray and Morale, this should be good, but go here to the execution grounds now. Someone might be following me, I'm not sure, but I've actually tried doing this a bit earlier. Very early in a playthrough, and probably running behind to get me. Probably activated them. This is a pure black or pure white World 10 C event. Which one it is depends, because it'll open either tendency. Open up under either tendency, but you'll fight Execution Morale in either Black Phantom or Soul Form, depending. Okay. I mean, Black Phantom or Body Form, depending. The way she will fight you. It'd be pretty awful to boot. Hello there, Black Phantom Draglings, and oh, you're top. Okay, cool. Nice, and. May as well go for a backstab, now that it makes much of a difference. More grass. Here and more crescent moon grass. Oh, but it prioritized picking up the item drop over the remains. Lots of soldier souls. Because these are the execution grounds. So people were executed here, presumably. Down here is nothing other than death. Take a step forward? I don't think I will. Mm -mm. Using fire on Meralda be a lot more efficient than using Soul Ray. Probably dodge some things either way, so I'll get close and try to stunlock it or something. You should go here first, right, because it's a deity. No, that's funny. Okay, cool. One and- ooh, alright, I was not expecting that. One, two, alright, and not actually going for the backstab, but that's not bad. One, two, and okay. One. Okay, half moon grass. Take that then, and it's a crescent grass. I should use a deal good deal of that. It's not occupying a crazy amount of a item burden, but it's occupying a meaningful amount of item burden, and I don't want to have to I don't want that to end up being a problem, just in case. We're all this right over there. Hello. Hi. Can we hit you through here? And this should lead you out. Thanks. Cool, cool, and oh, alright, I that did not deal the damage I expected. Said I. Let's see how much damage Soul Ray will deal. You are. Can we Okay, 76 versus 15. I may still end up being yet more efficient. Pending. Two, three, four. No, this is better. Much better. Okay, we can just keep our funny flamethrower going. And I guess the question is if we have the crease void out, could we. How much more would we be doing? And. Oh, it's not meaningful like this. Not meaningful like this at all. We can just keep on tossing fire at you until you die. Okay, cool. Generation is a fun thing, but... Mm -hmm. Spice, though. I do kind of feel like I might want to go back and farm some from Latria. Or just buy something from a draggling merchant. Both are possible. You are annoying. Oh, they're high end. What if I just smack you? Uh, no, you're really, really strong. Makes sense, but... Okay, oh, I, oh, all right. Interesting. Okay, cool. Thanks. Damage increase from the crease blade is not good enough at the moment. Just by using it over the regen from the pole, which is always good, more or less, no matter what. This is really nice. Actually, really, really nice. But sharpness over fragment ring. Useful, but I... Oh, you're strafing, you're strafing. Don't like that. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Thanks, thanks. And just keep on 
shooting fire at you. Relatively close range. Cool, cool. Keep on shooting. And stunlock or anything, but as long as it works. Cool. Alright. Thank you, and just keep on circling around you. Make sure you don't. Ooh, alright. Tracking was a little not great, but I will win. Thank you. Continuous and in motion. Uh, yeah, because if I went over and killed Monfoyer in Latria, presumably I would be in a decent position to take the rest of you down, but cannot. Mmm, form's good, but thanks or thank you. One, two, three. Damage is capable, but it's not as good as. Oh, okay. Thanks. So you're not healing. Really tanky, but you don't have any method of healing yourself. And I want. Well, ooh, alright. Thanks, I guess. Hmm, alright. Thanks. And just run and go down and just roll, roll. Okay. Through here. I think you can get through here all that well. Okay, cool. Thanks. And one, two. Ooh, alright. I don't like that at all. Hi, uh huh. We'll wait for a bit of regeneration, but let me see. Who is? We have a lot of grass that we should be trying to use. Thanks. One, two, and that's all. Thank you. Drop your axe, presumably. And how much? That's almost a level. Okay. Guillotine axe and item burden. I. Question is the brushwood set. How much more will that weigh? That's what I'm worried about. Shouldn't be horrible, but... Well, I will need to drop down here. Colorless Demon Soul. Poison Resistance, that's good. Just check. Just want to make sure it doesn't auto-save after I pick it up and mess me up. I actually do have a good deal more item burden that we started out with. That's a really funny thing, just the fact that takes this much to... There's no way to go down a ladder faster in this one. I'm stuck doing it this way. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Please, please, please. That's definitely death too. I... Actually, things are floating there. But I... Let me... I... Yeah, that, that's water. Things are just floating. A carry would overburden you. Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Means we need to drop a bunch of stuff off if we want to go down there. Annoying. Okay. Moraldus should be dead. I hope. Because the brushwood stuff is the heaviest armor in the game. It's basically this game's equivalent to pebble set. But... It all disappeared. We lost every single piece of the set. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. Family known for wearing and beat stamina regeneration. That means... It means we didn't get the... Well, we did get the shield. Okay. And we got the armor. We did not get the pants or the gloves. Well, whatever. Okay, well... That's what I got for... Trying to go through that way. The big thing is we got the shield, which we actually want. Normally we'd get the armor there too. It doesn't matter much because it's way too heavy for me to wear with the stat build I have. But that still looks really, really stupid. <laughs> kind of figured something like that might happen, but even still. Hmm. 
it's just... Hmm... I should just get rid of the crossbow. I don't need it for anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really annoying thing is just how... Things went through. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how quitting out just did not work. Oh, whatever. Got the big pieces, and I guess that's a little more important. But we can get the colorless demon soul from here, and then probably just use our shard of archstone. Thank you, thank you. And a shard of archstone. So get rid of our turpentine too. Let's use that. Hmm. Thank good. I was so many things I'm carrying right now. Honestly, don't need that. I do not need that. Don't need any of these. Don't use those. And there was an extra. There was this. And yeah, and Bureau of Tone Pings, known for wearing it. Stamina Regeneration, whatever. Hmm. Another Poison Resurring. I have to trash some things eventually. The big thing is, we don't need the Turpentine. Hmm. Not really. Get rid of that, get rid of this. Wax like substance of fluorescent water slug. That can go. This can go too. Surprising amount too. Hmm. Alright. We are it. Thanks. Still a little troublesome, frankly. Yeah, just losing out on I mean, at least we got the shield, but And did I Right, I should put that away too. Thank you. Thank you. How is it? Bunch of brushwood shield. There we are. Cool. We are. Thanks. Put more stuff away, I probably would have been able to pick that all up, but whatever, whatever. Thank you. Let's take some of this. Now the hero's soul. That's basically just what we needed, so. Let's take a bit more endurance. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Help the world be mended. Yeah, the question is what I use the colorless demon souls on. Or I could be really funny, actually. This is a glitch. My bad. Hmm. Hmm. Now, where now? Quit burden is. Hmm. Okay. I shall away. Nothing really. I am is we have to go back now. Could try killing the other Meralda, but I don't feel like it. Hmm. Might be good actually to go to Watcher real quick and just try to get some spice from killing Illithids. Okay. Hello, hello. Do that and cool. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And ooh, alright. That doesn't stun. That's a big thing. And any there we go, two fresh spice. Nice. Cool, cool. Alright. So you're running over to try to get me to kill them more than anything else. Hmm. -mm. Spice farming run in Latria. Hmm. -mm. Okay, cool, and just thanks. Alright. One, two, three, four. Nice, die. Fresh spice. Okay. Sharpness ring is definitely helping too, but I cannot. Two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two. Good stuff. And just. Any spice? Yeah, two fresh spice. Cool. 
Go on through, kill as many of these jailers as we can. And then... Well, alright. Cool. Thanks, thanks. Ooh, okay. Come on, come on, and... Okay. Instead, I... Uh, question is, the other spies... I just use it all, which is a crazy thing. I was able to use it up so quickly. Kind of disheartening. Well, whatever. Just need to get more mana replenishment. I could always buy some from Draggling Merchants, but... Hmm. It's increasingly becoming troublesome. It's kind of interesting that there's no way to percentage regen mana. And that all mana regen is some set value. So increasing your maximum MP can be useful, but that usefulness is a bit limited. Hmm. Okay. What I should have done is just dropped my crap. The feeling it might auto save when I picked up those items, but I didn't trust my instinct. Well, whatever. It is what it is. Run through, kill more mind flayers, and try to see where. Oh, there, hi. And you're right over there. One, two, three, four, and. Thanks. Cool. And any spice? No, not this time. Okay, oh, thanks. Cool. And. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. And, ooh, okay. I'll hold it down, actually. Interesting. And anything on you? We got... Ah, one old spice. Okay. Yeah, they want me to kill them, don't they? Oh, whatever. Don't think I'll do that. Not right now. And can I... Ooh, can't get there quite yet. Okay. Die. And, ooh. Took multiple, actually. Hmm. Interesting. I... Okay. And push you out of the way, but oh, they actually attack if you don't kill them. Stand still waiting for death until you actually hit them. Or use a roll on them. Hmm. They want death, but maybe they can't can't stand pain? Who knows, really. The big thing is, there's actually right over here that I did not go to previously. I believe it was a or two and a half, basically. Need to check out. Let me. Yeah, that's the Warden's Hall. So I need to go here eventually anyway, so it's good that I'm here then. Okay. Other side, then, would be something. Big thing is that this was basically meant to be the way you get to the... Oh? Oh? Meant to be the way you get to the other side of that one turret from before. I did not do it that way, I just rolled. Thanks. And... One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. Cool. And more spice. Fresh spice, thanks. And oh, alright. Cool. Thanks, one. One, two, and... Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, alright. Keep on chasing me, I will continue spraying fire at you. Until you do your grab attack. Thanks. And two fresh spice. Cool. Hmm. Getting around the other side then will be something different, I think. This is. Oh, and we can open that to get to the other side over there. Fun. Hmm. Other part with the other side with the warden's key is my real question. Two, three, four, five, six. That doesn't have any home, that's good. And two I well, whatever. Oh, but oh, I don't think I can actually get to the other Yeah, that's not a part I can actually get to, so. Well that was the funny little turret area. This is I don't think this is anything. Or let's see it. I might have been there, but I don't know for sure. Okay. Renowned Hero's Soul. Wait, there is another floor. Or two, we'll get the key from Freeing Ward Wydell later, but that's the Warden's Hall. Okay. Could be some more Black Phantom enemies, maybe. Maybe. 
and kill for a bit of extra spice before quitting myself this place for good. Yeah, I see one. I see one. Here is nothing. Answer is within you. And the answer is nothing is there. Cool. Okay, and... Strength. Thanks. Okay, cool. Now you're running after me. Cool. Even if it doesn't connect, they still go for the grab attack, which is interesting. Okay. Two fresh spice. Alright. Oh, and yeah, this is a perfect opportunity to grab that one item, actually. Hmm. Fresh spice, old spice. Should be good. I don't think we should need that much more, actually. Big thing was beating one enemy that is. Once we be the flame worker, we can use the crease blade, which will increase my magic damage enough that I shouldn't really need much more. In terms of spice, except in, I don't know, emergencies, quote unquote. We'll see what happens. More of you in here? Cool. Maybe we'll kill these guys. Just for fun. And come on. It is interesting that it really is only the mind flayers that seems to drop spice. Yeah. It did suck to miss out on Bior's armor, but again. I don't need it now, and if I do another playthrough on my own time, I can just grab it again first thing and the item burden of course becomes a lot less meaningful when you're at a much higher stat level. We'll see. And if I can't even pick it up all at once, I'll just throw away the pieces I didn't get the first time. Green white stone, and let's avoid the altar. Avoid the altar. Don't get grabbed, and go up to upper ladder anyway. And oh, that's where you get the baby's nail. Okay, cool. Here we are. Let's go back to the nexus. Baby's nail deals. Plague damage. It's just toxic, basically. Better poison. Hmm. Well, okay. Let's go back. Hello again. I'm keeping. Deposit some items and deposit these. Deposit this. Go to like a town coat with plague for assassination unique weapons. One is especially sinister. Okay. Hmm. You have a. I'll let them take it from you. Thank you. Armor from Blender Outstone, Tunnel City, below the Smithing Grounds, lies a huge tunnel worthy of its name. Dragon's Grave is part of the molten area. Alright then. Alright. Hmm. We are. Let's continue. Where are you going, Crystal Wizard? Come on. And that. Oh my goodness. I, okay. Cool. Cool. And. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna chase you down. And. Why can't I target log successfully? And I. Wait, what? You're kidding. You're actually joking. Thanks. And. Two. And. What? Okay, never mind. I'm trying that again. Okay. Oh, an exception. Good old RPCS3. My save data corrupts, I'm going to cry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Let's try this again. Thing is, I definitely want to just shoot with fire. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, alright. Hmm. Big thing is, as good as Phosphorescent Pole might be, though again, I could just be silly and actually duplicate, duplicate the relevant items. Wouldn't be hard even. And two, thank you, and there we are, examine the corpse, and Go away, and oh goodness. More of us have what we need. Thank you. Thank you. 
Skill miners are coming, but we'll wait. On two. And the fact that do a kind of little poke with it too is funny. One, two. Funny scale miner moment. One, two. And one, two. So many stones. Hardstone chunk, and this is more hardstone from the wizard. Okay. Well, whatever. Hmm. So then, let's keep on. Oh, all right. Okay. Not expect that to happen. And almost got us back to full. Almost enough to be meaningfully useful. And I know that some of these are shortcuts, some of these are not. Hello, hello. Way back up to some spots. The big thing is that Sirvir has. Wait, what? Okay. Not good. Surveyor the Wanderer will show up as a black spirit in here, and we can use magic or something to take him out. Actually, throwing him with the pole would probably be our best bet. Maybe. Dark spirit version of a guy who will show up a little bit later. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Through and okay, stone thing. Big thing is that bottom up with white character tendency, which will pop up with what? 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 Huh? Hmm? Okay. Here. Here we are, and hard stone and that. And did a bit earlier than expected. Well, sent me back a bit earlier than expected in that case. Okay, cool. Alright. Thank you. Sharp stone. Gray stone. Which what is gray stone again? Hmm, but the narrow poke is tough. Okay. Range is actually quite bad, and skill miners are also very, very Two. Right, that's full. Two. Okay, sharp stone. Spider stone. Okay. And over here is. This is where the drop downs start that let you get to Sirvir faster. Okay. Also, a shortcut to the Flame Worker boss if you know how to use it, but. Not going this way, at least not immediately. And. We can crush that bear bug. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's go over this way then, and all these. Ah! Just fossils. Okay. Oh, so in theory, maybe those are effectively dragonstone. Okay. Cool. Set up those charges and go away before we die. Okay. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Don't stop. Wait. We have a trap ahead, which should be... Maybe the minecart rolling towards me? Yeah, okay, cool. So we just gotta run past it. Cool. That was fun. Or if I could have shielded or dodged that if I'd wanted to. Maybe. Cool. Thanks, 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 thanks. Alright, any others, or you guys are the only one? Full moon grass and movements. Yeah, if you just keep on moving, it won't really be able to get you. And I'll got some guidance. I think I really need, but. Okay. Yeah, again, not getting the. Stone does feel kind of bad. The armor, the orb of trap ahead, and that's you. Hello, trap ahead. Interesting name you have. And okay, now rubble to demolish. And well, that. Assume wait, there's going to be somebody waiting, or a trap, or what? Well, the big thing is I can smash these actually. 
That's fun. And oh, worm. Okay. Cool. Oh, these are actually very plainly similar to ones that. 2064 damage. Okay. Worms from Dark Souls 1. Step forward. I. Ah, would I be able to survive? I think I might, actually. Thing is, I'm not sure I can use that elevator yet. The hero's soul and oh baby, okay. Cool, cool. Alright. Thanks. Instant worm death. And oh, the corpse stays and you can actually ragdoll it around. That's actually really funny. Okay. Cool, just one, two, three, one, two. Three, okay. And clear stone. In the end, it's just... If we were to seriously focus on upgrading, I would duplicate materials to do that. But that's not what I'm doing at the moment. Hmm. It's just the one thing I can think about actually wanting to upgrade at all would be the S-Stock, which... You know, that already goes down. So what is the point of the other parts of the area if you can just go straight down the elevator? What am I going to see this way that I wouldn't be able to otherwise? And, oh, there's a crystal wizard over there. That's fun. Hello there. Hi. Two, three. One, two, three. It's under corpse, large sharps and stored, and a shard of clear stone. But, as cool as these tunnels are, I am getting increasingly confused as to which way to go. Oh, there are crystal wizards in here. This might be a nest area. Where are the black phantom ahead? Ooh, okay. What are these guys? You are... Huh. Well. Alright. You can use this to pierce somewhat. Big thing is, you don't have your shields up at all, which is useful for me. I just don't know what these guys are, though. And, oh, uh, that didn't quite hit. And, ooh, alright. Thanks. And I think we can get some smacks in with our pole now. Yeah, while well, we wait for a bit of generation. Thanks. Oh, but I, at least the damage there was not all that special. I, okay, walk. And yep, you do have poise on that attack. Actually do have some poise-oriented attacks. Okay. One, two. Hmm. Survey's good, but it's not everything. Dragonstone and, oh, an ephemeral eye stone. That's cool. Got our bonking stick, and we can take you out. Cool. But, oh, that was kind of a waste. We should have used the half grass. I need to reorganize stuff. Half full, wait. We'll wait. Should be half. A lot of full and a decent amount of crescent, but another eye stone, which is nice. Keep on moving through here. Black phantom ahead. Well, we killed them already. I know that at least one of these. Some area here is going to be a right, crystal wizard nest. But did you just die or what? I okay. Interesting. All right. And of course, most of these are going to just stay away. But I don't have a good way to take you out. It's the thing is, uh, I don't need most of these guys, but they almost all disappeared. It's so annoying. I zoom away piercing would be good on them. Or maybe just running in and casting something like God's Wrath. Just get them all in one big AoE. That felt kind of bad. Just a little. Okay. Go down here. Go over the little holes in the ground. Pure Hearthstone is pure Sharpstone. Oh, that's cool. It said I actually don't think that Sharpstone and Hardstone... Well, maybe for a specific build, but... If I were to really go through in this game, I would be playing through to... Max new game, at which point you wouldn't really care for anything other than quality on most weapons. It's weapons that can be upgraded. So, send this up, see if there's anything underneath. I haven't seen any kind of underneath thing here, but... Yeah, okay. Alright. Means I'm gonna have to bring it back. This be a mobile, well, until we bring it back. Thanks. There we are, we can bring it back down. We'll investigate what's over on this other side. Messages ahead. 
And cool, cool. And this is, wait, what is this? I, that is probably certain death. Probably. Keep trying, you can proceed it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. Interesting. Drink that. Eat that, I mean. And these fire bottles are really, really annoying. I think Patches is somewhere on here, right? We're of rear ahead. Two ends. Is this. This is the other side of where I was before. Core stone shard and large shard. And is this anything down here? Treasure ahead. Somehow I doubt that. Usually those little wisps indicate bottomless pits. Okay. Let's proceed. And this is what? This place I could have gone to through some other means, or? I'm getting kind of confused. Hi! Two, three. Piercing is good. Let's just see how much Soul Ray does do. And a little bit more than the pole, but not enough to adjust by using it. And we'll move over the pole. One, two. Bear bug moment. And corpse dragonstone and lots of it. One, two, three. Stamina consumption seems to be a bit more heavy in this one. Short of dragonstone and is that one coming over or one, two, three. And one, two, one. So how would I get up top where I was before? Great axe. Great axe. It's over here by this giant bear bug. One. Oh, I, okay. If we stay behind you, actually, we can. One, two, three. Actually, very similar to the crystal. The rock wizards in Arch Dragon Peak in Dark Souls 3. Oh, goodness. These guys are durable. That's sad. They don't have any behind hitbox, so as soon as you get behind them, they're. More or less sitting docks. Oh, well, alright. Never mind. Do some weight grass. And we're decent. Thing is just now getting greedy and should have know. And they go for that jump. Out of punish. And that is. Oh, right, you explode. Okay. Thanks. Cool. And anything over here or. Short of Dragonstone. And is this. Anything? Nothing special. Beware of a fall ahead. Yeah, well, I guess so. Another giant bear bug over that way, and some kind of knight. Oh, that's Patches! Ah, okay. Flying bear bug, and at least these ones seem to be a little weaker. The stinger, too. Wow. Okay. One, two, three. Die. Over here is short of Dragonstone. Huh. Let's actually just kill all of these guys first. Oh, but Patches would get caught up in that explosion. Hard difficulties would actually be impossible to. Wait, what? Overburden? Now? I. Okay. I need to drop some things then. What is this? Some kind of. Let's just drop some things and see if it's worth taking. I have a lot of stuff that I might like to. This is expensive. A lot of this. And drop six. Okay, cool. This is two shards of graystone. Okay. Uh, well, I. Uh, this is interesting. I'm really just. I've just got too many things on me. It's kind of annoying. Actually kind of a horrible place to be going right now as a result. Huh, okay. Alright. It means going home. Don't have a talisman or anything, so... Not like I can just use Evacuate. I... I'm gonna buy Evacuate. I'm gonna go to Shrine of Storms right now. Just to get... A way to escape faster when escape is necessary. It would be useful right now.
especially since miracle slots do not interfere with magic slots. So I don't have to worry about any kind of competition. Mm -hmm. It's a decent one. Okay. Annoying, annoying, annoying. Let's go back to the Nexus. Drop my crap off. So much... So much horror. Hmm. Oh well. Oh well there. Oh. Got a miracle and... Antidote cures a poisoning. And soul. Take that. It could be good for no, other back. stuff. I am... Never mind. Okay, we don't have that auto equipped yet. Use... Member ends. Evacuate. We got two miracle slots actually. Warriors upon lonely journeys. Miracle, me yop. Thank you. Heal fire spray soul ray, and there should be a talisman of God. Just waiting for us to pick up around here. Shrine of Storms, Worship Storms Mourn the Dead. Storms fly above, souls of the dead inhabit skeletons and move about freely. Okay. Mm. Oh, whatever. Oh, there's. Satsuki's Phantom is right here. Okay. Oh, what? Wait, what? Never mind. Okay. Not like that. Not like that, it won't work. Okay. Hmm. Question is what kind of spell I'm going to use on him. Hmm. But I do need to get that Talisman of God. Quickly as possible. But honestly, I'd like to have it. Especially since I can't use the Talisman of the Beast quite yet. Which I would get from Servier, but... Hmm. Okay. Don't have any healing. Okay. Oh my. Hmm. Pretty immediate, huh? Okay. And you are really tough. Okay. Interesting. Alright. And, come on. Fire spray over here. Let's just keep on hitting the fire. Dodge and... Okay, all of these guys are actually horrible. And cool, and I really, 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 I okay. Hmm. Maybe I come back a bit later. Big thing is that these guys suck. Suck to try to get past. They suck to find. Hi. Maybe I don't need to be here right now. Maybe I don't need to be here right now. Okay. Hmm. I'm just gonna go back to the Nexus and try that again. Later, I have Talisman of Beasts, so I should be okay. Big question is just, will Talisman of Beasts deal more damage? How much more or less damage will it deal? To what extent will its damage not reflect its actual stated magic adjust? Because according to what I saw online using calculators, the Talismans of Beasts magic adjust is basically the average of the combination of each of its individual miracle and magic adjust and each minus 100. Yeah, you subtract 100 from both its miracle adjust and its magic adjust, add those together and add 100 again for its displayed power, but I'm not sure how much that actually corresponds to its actual power oh, for spells and miracles. Very possible that it could just be silly, frankly. So let's just drop all this off because it makes sense that carrying out a bunch of rocks is going to be heavy, but this is still a bit much, really. Okay, chunk of spider stone, shard of spider stone, and yeah, it's just 
great axe is heavy too. All these things we picked up, things we dropped off. You have a heart. Thank you. Let's go back to Stone Fake now and just, yeah, just having to worry about carrying stuff here is not that fun. At the stopways, we'll see again later. Go down, probably activate. Maybe activate patches of strap, maybe not. Not actually sure yet whether I will do that first or later. Big thing is there. Oh, and that minecart only spawned in once. The big exploding minecart. Oh, actually. Keep on running. Cool. Keep on running past them. Oh, so eventually they come down on their own even if we don't block them. Seems to be the case. Big thing is, there are- oh, an, an official. Hello there. Let's just fire spray you to death. Keep on strafing, and cool. Nice. Good stuff. Fun spell. Fire is always great. How much do we have in the way of... About seven more levels until I can start using Talisman of Beasts that I should get through here from one of the black phantoms we'll fight. And then that'll make me, oh my goodness, meaningfully stronger by way of actually being able to use miracles. Because as of now, I still have no way to use miracles. Which is kind of crazy, frankly. But, <laughs> I'll live. Sharp stone, there, and, okay. So the big thing is, we can use Soul Ray to take you down, and there we go, easy enough. It's kind of pleasant how easy the worms are to kill at times. This is another, oh right, because the number of times they can spawn in is determined by your, right, how many times you've killed the boss. So they have a maximum of four spawns for Crystal Lizard, but... If you don't do that, they'll vanish. Don't kill them, they vanish. And okay, cool. You soul ray again. Thank you. All right. And oh, that. What was? That was interesting. Was it a matter of hitting the head or not hitting the head or what? Well, whatever. And anything else over this way or what is this? Lord Sharpstone sword and short of clear stone. Done there would be not good for me. This should lead to patches, though, presumably, if we drop off over here. Thank you. Not that much damage, either. Short of Greystone, and this would be... Drop down over here. This will lead me to patches as trap. Hi. Chunk of Greystone, and... Cool. Fun dropping. Ah, so that was the function of that initially. That's cool, actually. Kill some bear bugs, but. Hmm. One, two. Ooh, we messed that up more than a bit. One, two, three. Ooh, alright. One, two. Okay. Then, more bear bugs are coming. Not quite like that. One, two, three. One, two. They're just resilient. Not supposed to be intimidating enemies, but they are very durable. Cool. Nice. One, two, three. Dragonstone again. Thanks. Okay. Alright. And can we get through there? Or yeah, we can. Okay. Thanks. One, two. One, two. Ah, oh, and you're charging. One, two. I do feel obligated a little to kill them as they go past them. You know, more souls is always a good thing to have. Okay, and you're gonna keep pivoting towards me, presumably. I uh, okay. Cool. Great. Oh, and a stinger. Wow, one, two. Die, die, die. Anything on you? Oh, well, an explosion if you want. Thanks. Cool. But after the initial hit. The hitbox seems to, seems to disappear very, very quickly, which I have no problem with, <laughs> to say the least. And yeah, down over here, there he is, good old Patches. 
Everybody's favorite. Then what's... Oh, and yeah, you definitely have to aim for the head, don't you? Yeah. Actually a bit like those... One, those enemies and... Bloodborne, the ones you have to shoot. Or Greystone. What does Greystone even do? Quibburn is quickly going up. Uh, to light, bludgeon foes. Okay. Hmm. Alright then. So what did I miss the first time around is the question. Oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. One, two. Would be able to go all the way back up if I went through here or... It's the question. Go up and then use the other shortcut past Black Phantom Stirve here. Or am I kind of stuck like this? So Lizard lies in wait ahead. Well, me too, buddy. Me too. Okay. Cool. Another failed Sora use. Thanks. Alright. Cool. Thanks. Ooh, well, alright. Let's try to get another vantage point. That knocked my work. Cool. Cool. And, alright. Just gotta shoot your. Uh -huh. That worked better. It's only the difference between a one hit kill and a two hit kill, but still. Yeah. I actually really like the fact that the worms don't disappear. Chunk of Hardstone, and would that kill me if I dropped down there, or. Presumably he would kick me down there. It's anything like other patches is, and other. Souls games, but a Black Phantom Bear Bug. What a concept. Could use a little fuel myself. One, two, three. I think I hear someone coming after me, do I? Or one, two, three. And those other Black Phantom Bear Bugs? Those just like normal. Normal Bear Bugs. Okay, cool. One. Oh, they seem to be more durable while flying, actually. Kind of the opposite of a lot of Souls enemies, where they're less durable while flying. How could I take you down, then? The overhead swing is a good way to deal with you. Okay, then. Alright. It's just, I'm gonna do the whatever Patches wants me to do, I'm gonna do that last. I do want to do it, though, because, you know... Gotta be nice to our guy. But... Ugh. One. Come on. Well, the stinger can't even reach me. Here. But. Mm -hmm. One. Getting close. Of course, pure magic would be the easiest to use, but. I uh, actually, wait. Did the S stock actually. Let's try the S stock. I don't have any upgrades on the S stock, though. Is the thing. And. Oh, never mind, never mind. That was not a good idea. Priest Blade, and... Getting kind of swarmed by these guys, so I... Okay. Question is, how much damage does the Priest Blade actually deal AR-wise? Not as much, okay. Cool. One, two, one... Do these guys spawn in infinitely, or... That's my question. It does feel like they're a little endless... Okay. Flying bug. This honestly feels a little blight towny. Okay, cool. And short of Dragonstone. One. Getting close. Or not. So we have to get a little bit farther away in order to actually make them come in close. Interesting. And over there, what? Hi, flying bear bug. Hello, hello. Cool. And more Dragonstone, more Dragonstone, and one, two, three, four, okay. More Dragonstone, and it's cool. Anything over this way, or something on there, but I think I see. Oh, and another oh, Filthy Man! Plenty of souls. Oh, cool. Have you heard? Dragon Dragonshine, well. Dragon Bones, what the server, not that good for now. Bear Bugs scare him. Wizards on stones, can't give it away when we found it. it. Didn't quite work though. Where okay. Oh, but we could sell. Oh, that's right. Oh, no, we can't sell. Come back. I actually need some. I'm not even sure you can sell in this game. I haven't seen any real way to yet. 
Message we were of a fall ahead. That be this or what? Let me see. Presumably there should be other worms around here somewhere. But I, yeah, there we are. Cool. Thanks. And take you out with one quick soul ring. Thank you, thank you. Take that down, take some of these other things down. Some of those, and more bear bugs. Is this. Question is, my question is, how many of these gonna be? No item. Barabog, Barabog, and any other items here, or presumably Flame Worker could be around here. I'm not sure. Come on, come on. I okay? Alright. Thanks. Thanks, and oh, come on. Well, they are as worms. They're kind of similar to the ones from the Demon Ruins and Dark Souls. This, I'm really glad I played Demon Souls, just because it's really showing me how much Dark Souls got from Demon Souls. You know? It's showing me the influences in a very, very quick way. And Storied Soldier Soul, and that acid. I'm not sure if they're breathing fire or breathing acid. As the worms in other Souls games will largely do it. Okay, we managed to hit. So the head takes about 10 times as much damage as any other body part. It's kind of crazy. Two, three. With the item, Shard of Dragonstone. Which, the big thing is, I know that around here should be rid of the boss. And also, Patches is here. A little bit higher up top. Hello. And anything from you? But I tried to pick up the heaviest armor in the game, and my item burden was too low. Well. I had too many things in my inventory, so I lost a couple of the pieces, because if your item burden's too low to pick something up, this stays on the ground as a pickup item, and if you reload the area, it disappears entirely. You don't just put it back. It's just gone. Which is not a great feeling. And there he is, Mr. Patches himself. Oh, I'm mad like this. What jolly and he's got the same voice real. actor as every Please other Patches. He really is the star of the Soul Series. I don't like it. There. Go on and take it. Hmm. My gift to you, just to show that we're friends. Oh. Well, I'm glad to meet you. The Soul Series. Somehow I don't think I'll do will what you say. Hmm. Okay. What's the matter? I'm going out on a limb here. Give me a chance to prove my good faith. He is easily the star in this game. What's the matter? That said, he'll probably find a way to get this thing to blow up or drop it down behind us. If I just kill this thing now, and he will actually get hit by the explosion a little, which is quite funny. Okay. Right, uh, I could have used some more crescent grass. Whatever. Kill this bear bug now. These big ones take a bit, but the big thing is that it's totally passive right now, which helps. The other thing is also that if it's close, it'll explode upon death and deal really big damage, but the hitbox is actually pretty short. I'm not sure I'd be able to roll through it, and I don't really want to test it out. The big thing is that on higher new game modes, patches will actually die to this explosion. He won't have enough HP to survive it, because his HP never goes up, but even though damage does. So, alright, and now we need to run. We just need to run. We'll get hit. That's fine. Yeah, there's your comeuppance. Hi there, hi. You! How did you do that? It's fun! Okay. You! So he should go back to the Nexus now, presumably. Dragonstone and Ring of Flame Resistance. That could be useful. Maybe. The funny thing is that the Ring of Flame Resistance would actually help you survive a bear bug explosion, theoretically. So it's actually not a bad gift to give, even if he is doing it in pretty bad faith. And Chuck of Sharpstone. Hmm. Okay. It's just. Almost everything in this game is some carry weight, which. It's an interesting mechanic, and to be fair, I've been smart enough to not really, really run afoul of it too much, so I haven't, the only time I had to worry, and I thought I might want to 
test it out, but the fact that I missed viewers' items was still a bit annoying. Anything here, or literally just a club? Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Hi. Well, I did it through quick thinking and knowing enough about the game that knowing that you specifically would betray me. The good old classic, reading the wiki. Then, renowned hero's soul. Down around here, but the shortcut to the boss will be through another segment. Question is, if we go down here, are we gonna start sliding or. No, we're not sliding, okay. Soon of ephemeral eyes. It's true! It's my it's my greatest skill. It's my secret weapon. And we can drop down here, get whatever this is, and ooh, we slid fast. A dark heater sheet shield plus two. Dark. Dark? What is dark doing? Oh, presumably it's dark heater. Wait, what? Kind of. Wait. Dark. Or. Presumably. Oh, presumably it makes it better at resisting fire, maybe? Or. Mat Did that have 100% magic resistance? Can't even tell. Well, whatever. And. There's supposed to be an item on this, I think, but I can't. Pick it up. Well, it would just be some kind of upgrade stone that I really don't need. Let's keep on going. I don't think I want to fight the flame worker like this. Uh, I don't know, actually. Might as well do it, frankly. May as well try. Need a drop down through the top anyway, so. What's over here? What's over here? This is. Oh well, storied soldier's soul. These are just bear bug fossils, more or less. Remind me a little of certain Metroid enemies, actually. Run straight through, or not, and then, huh, remember, anyone, is anyone coming, or, I'm getting a little worried, oh, uh, this is claustrophobic, and, went right, and, oh, is this a giant bear bug, ooh, baby, that's great. You're going through the side, so we can get behind you, presumably, which should make you easier to kill by far. The big thing is, is that you're going to have to run once we've killed you. Hmm. So I think we've found what we need to find, really. The big thing is, if we're dumb about this, it'll do a jump attack or something, which would be annoying. It's just... It's kind of hilarious how, just, how durable these things are. It... Seems a little overkill to me. One, two, three. One, two, three. Honestly, this reminds me a bit of Underground Chasm. In particular, some of the tunnels they had near the sort of halfway point. It. I still think there is a strong case to make that Underground Chasm might have been the best exploration experience Genshin ever had. Thank you, bar bear bug. Short of dragon stone and what are we going to run straight through versus? So that was just a side tunnel. I'll probably just kite the bear bug in the chasm. Why did he go crazy in the chasm? Did you just get lost or? Okay, and then and then and then and this. Where to next? Where of your stamina ahead, which. Wait. Oh, another bear bug. Okay. Oh, so you went crazy as in you played it a lot and did a lot there? Okay. Cool. Thanks. And, ooh, that was surprisingly high damage. Well, it... It was an interesting area that tested you. It's not weird to like a challenge. It's actually pretty normal human behavior. May come as a surprise to you. Okay. And not. Hmm. Question is, how am I gonna hit you? Well, in that case, maybe it's not normal for goblins. Maybe goblins are all really path of least resistance type individuals. I don't know. They don't pay me for these kinds of things. Not yet, at least. Oh well. If you enjoyed it, then it's fine, I guess. And, okay, just dodge the stinger. 
This is actually the best way to do it. Just wait for it to change the position of its mouth part. And, alright. One for Sam to get all the way back before we run again. And, there we go. Let's just run. Stay out of the way of this. Cool. Thanks. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Fun. But this way is what? Chunk of clear stone. So we had to kill that to get through. So there's there going to be any kind of special reward for our travel or anything. Or this is a crystal wizard wise and wait ahead. So we didn't go left, but oh, this is getting very confusing. So the one immediately to the right of the message is the one we came from. Oh, but this is just a normal bug there. Good. And ooh, okay. Thanks. Not really. I Am I stuck? I may be stuck. Okay, I was stuck, I'm not stuck anymore. Hmm. I am sad, they kind of interlink, I think. So the other tunnel would probably just be to where we got to. Past the bear bug, but I don't know. Uh -huh. One, two, die. Oh, but you explode as well? You explode as well? But you're you're smaller though. Okay, whatever. Oh, it's the medium bear bugs and the giant bear bugs. I confused. Oh, another ephemeral eye stone. Cool. So this message, this one is where we came from. So let's, let's try seeing where the other one might lead. Okay. Uh-huh. This is... Oh, so we have to go through it anyway. If we don't kill it or otherwise get past it, we... Oh no, here, here. It... Actually, what this really reminds me of is when it tunnels. Because it's another area that's... You know, not really made for human consumption. In a certain sense, in that... Okay, but getting across there is... Ooh, now we can go left, we can go right, and... In that case... Went left. Then we... Wait, wait. Left and right, and... Oh, that's why they give the Augite some guidance. Because it's actually pretty easy to get lost in here. This just drops down over to where we were before. Oh, well, this actually... Wait, what? Huh? Where have your stamina ahead? And where did we come from? This is... Hmm. This is where we... We went more or less, and we just went down the drop off again. So led back around, loop back around on that. I, okay. Oh, did wait, wait, go right, right, and ha. Huh. I wait. Where have your stamina ahead? So I now I'm really getting confused. Now I'm really getting confused. Huh? Skies yourself, you can proceed. Wait, what? I remember. Did I. Wait, what? Okay. Huh. I. Oh, I. It sent me all the way back to the start. Okay, I need to orient myself better. Go down these other pathways first. I think I might be able to find my way through, but. This is interesting. It's the first time I've ever really gotten lost in a Souls game. This is. Oh, a bear bug in lava? I okay. Fun. Not really. How do I do this? Do I? Yeah, it's certainly something. Okay. Cool. But, oh my goodness. Okay. Come on. You know, maybe I could just try using Soul Ray or something, but I uh, yeah. These ones are annoying enough that it would justify just spamming magic on them. Yeah. We won't be able to just get behind them and flack with our stick because of the way that choke point works. And guess who's out of magic points? Alright, cool. And damage is good, but not amazing. And oh, but presumably the big explosion should take out some more of those guys, so let's do that. Cool. How much damage? How much damage? And 
Um, okay. Who did that kill, if anybody? Oh, it killed a couple of those bug bears, but... And bear bugs, but... Okay. Cool. Mostly avoiding me. The question is... How am I gonna... Huh. Well. Seem to be kind of stuck. Not complaining, but... So, oh, okay, okay. Alright. Thanks. Thanks. Hmm, your AI seems to be messing up due to positioning. I won't complain. I'm a good amount of souls from this, too. Big thing is, I don't even have a talisman yet. Which is making some things troublesome. Means I can't use healing like I might like to. No healing spell, and no. Well, there are a lot of things I can't do right now. Okay. Cool, cool. Thanks. Blow up. This guy. Cool. Great, great. Question is, what's going to be over besides the lava pool, if anything? If anything. As I go trace, or trace the side of this very queerly, that would be death. What if I saw radio? That worked okay. I need to worry you in close, because otherwise, hover over the lava and become basically impossible to hit. But I don't want you pestering me. That's the big thing. Get in. Get in. Thanks, and death to you. Oh, but some of them are just lying in the lava? Oh, because presumably they'd have some kind of immunity, or... That's the question. How am I gonna... Is there any way for me to get rid of the lobby here. I mean, presumably I might have to go waiting, which would suck. Especially since there's no ring that would really allow me to do it easily at the moment. With the orange shard ring and dark souls, but whatever. One, two, three, die, and a short of dragonstone. Hmm. Up here is, is this, this is the item on the other side of that perch. An unknown hero's soul. Okay. There was... Besides that other really confusing pathway... There's also... One remaining pathway over here. To check what it was. The one that just leads across. Oh, but if it's going down... By that ledge, I think... Great view. Great view. Huh. I wonder what they mean by that. More bones, more bones. And this is... Wait. Huh? One way road ahead. This is... Wait. It's back at the... This isn't that crystal wizard nest from before. Yeah, it's not. One way road. <laughs> so, but those other pathways we saw... Well, presumably, actually... I need to check, but if it just drops us down to here, or not, actually, it didn't just drop us down there. Huh. I... This is actually quite confusing. Don't really know what's going on here. So don't know. How am I gonna get... How I'm going to get the items that are just in the lava. That did not do much of anything. Come on, come on. Stop floating above the lava and let me hit you. Thanks, and can I... I have to be really careful with my spacing here, and frankly, it's definitely not worth it, but whatever. Okay. Late moon. Kill. Okay, cool. And anything else over this way, or what I... Oh! Clearly, the only way to do this is to actually just rush over the lava really fast. Okay, that said, a ring of fire resistance would definitely be good here. It's probably the way through the end, though. Hmm. Alright, then. We're gonna see what else there is here. So there is for the taking. Oh, there, bear bug. Big bear bug. Come on, come on. I can't imagine these guys spawning infinitely. I guess it's possible, but... The thing is, I need... Of sharpness, we need fire resistance ring. 
And what if I... Oh, but Water Veil would have been great for this. I... Hmm. I have enough grass that I could probably manage some of this, but it... Yeah, the ring's helping a lot, but even still, it is not nowhere near ideal. Take this and take that and... Okay, cool, and... What, what did I get? What did I... What was that item? Whatever it was cannot cannot have been worth that. <laughs> okay. And okay. Those were fast actually. It's not that bad. Okay. Cool. This is the way. Like this. Pure dragonstone and oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. And crescent grass. Take this. Don't need whatever they have. It's just gonna be more. Dragonstone, okay, whatever. Use the full grass after we get on over there to the bugs, so I- Ooh, alright. That was dangerous. It's quite dangerous. The bear bug's right over there, okay. So what are we gonna get from actually taking that bear bug out? What can we- What item is gonna be over there on that side? The big thing is that there are no enemies that actually drop spells in this one. All your spells just come from... Oh, there seems to be some kind of... Ah, okay. Cool. Ah, we're actually getting kind of low in grass. Funky. And, okay, now we're behind you. Yeah, there was something through here, which... Huh. What is that over there? I wonder if it would be worth getting or not. Hmm. Okay. Were you back onto cold land, basically? Oh, what? What? No, no, I can't accept that. That's stupid. Okay. <sighs> Whatever. Imagine doing this in soul form. That would really suck. Okay. <sighs> all right. All right then. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Luckily, there isn't much like this later. Honestly, doing this lava is probably going to be the most annoying thing I have to deal with. And wait, how did I? What? I was in the lava there. Whatever. Okay, they do seem to respawn a little, weirdly enough. Bit of that full moon grass, bit of that, but... Hmm, okay. Alright then. Can we go on and roll? Use that. Where are the other bugs over, but... Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Come on. Ah, oh, getting close. Stop hiding in the lava. Please. I just... These guys are aggravating. Hmm. In the end, I technically don't need to kill all the bear bugs, but I'd still like to. The fact that they hover such an inconvenient distance away over the lava is very, very annoying. One, two. Thanks. One, two, three. Just a matter of- oh my- okay. What in the- okay? Alright. Annoying. One. So staying behind you is kind of a winning strategy, I would say. One, two, three. Oh, and a charge attack. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Think. I want to jump. Mm -hmm. Question is, what is that item over there? item over that way. I... Oh, that missed entirely. Done. Uh, until you get in a position where I can hit you more adequately, I will just hit you with soul rays. Thanks. Two, and... Alright. It's not as bad as I expected, so I'll just... Thanks, and run over here. Cool. And then, and then, and then... Really, what is this? Don't need your stone. 
I want is to see what this is. Whatever this is. I run over, take this, and this is chunks of dragonstone, and I don't need those at all. And I don't need that item even in the slightest. Okay. I'm just gonna leave that. You know, I do... I'm not sure whether I like the fact that all the items you get from walking in lava are frankly kind of trash. Or not. Because it does mean that leaving them alone means you don't miss much. And the funny thing about it is that it actually serves a pretty decent lore function in the sense of... It's very specifically... Oh, but using the brushwood set, the Bior set, would actually be pretty useful there. Huh? Oh, hi! Hello! How are you doing? I am going through more demon souls and it is torture. Well, alright. Um. Glad to hear you're doing alright. We, I appreciate you popping in, whether you can communicate or not. I hope you're doing well. And, interesting. Doing a bit of lava waiting, among other things. To go home and dragon along, so we're doing fire, yeah. Enjoy your working. I will continue on my way through. Big thing is, I'm using up a lot of grass, honestly. I don't want to have to spend on grass, but it might end up being necessary. As so the souls I spend on grass, the souls I can't spend on other stuff. Did pick up warding from Freck using Tower Ignite Soul. He also did manage to use a number of things as well, but this went around. I think I'm getting sidetracked. I there were there were at least three ways through, and I know one said, right, right, we had to go back, we had to go back. There's one that said great view over this way where we had the junction, and this is the one that leads to where we actually want to go. Okay. All right then, cool. <laughs> Big question is, the boss of this area, the flame worker, is also generally considered to be very t tough. So I'm wondering how that's going to work out. Oh, all right then. At least get Talisman of Beasts from Surveyor eventually when we go back through. Don't have Evacuate at the moment, which is annoying. Oh, but I think this... This is the shortcut way down, and... Oh my goodness. Okay, oh, lots of worms. This could be better. Could also be worse. Okay. It's a little less damage, right? Because I don't have sharpness on anymore. I only have. Would have been about. Yeah, about 30 more damage. 30% more damage. And. Cool. And hit. Nice. Kill the worms. And anything dropped? I guess they just keep going no matter what. Or maybe. I hit some kind of weird drop limit? I'm not sure. Or actually, oh, I think you have to go to. Go to the base. It would overburden you. Okay. Short of Greystone, so presumably that would be bigger Greystone. But either way, this is where the Flame Worker fight is. I huh. Do I have any? I don't have a Shard of Archstone, so I don't have a good way to get back without dying. Because that was a one-way path. What is this again? This is oh okay. Hmm, alright. Cool. Great. And you are doing your own thing, too. Thanks. Ooh, but we're out of that. Huh? I'm gonna have to use some spice, then. For the fight. And we have almost 14. Thanks, guy. Question is what this is going to be. Cannot carry would overburden you. What kind of... What is it, then? Drop... Some of these. 
drop those, and what is this? Let me just check a map real quick. Tunnel City. Demon Souls 2.2-2. The bottom over there is... The Hands of God. Okay. Which of those are away? Hands of God. They weigh... Let's see... 3.5 actually, which isn't all that bad, but I do need it for some space then. Which do I, I need 1.5 more points worth. I, we can just drop this. Okay. Pick up the item. Wait, we still can't, okay. Wait, I'm gonna carry would overburden you. Carry would overburden you and I'm, um, oh, 3.5, right. Drop something else. Drop two of these large sharp stone shards. Cool. And I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Okay. It's just it's cool to get as many of those as we have, but I have way too many. Now I have wait. Do I not have enough or was the item burden changed somehow in later versions? A remake or something? Let me see. I so it's an inventory management puzzle. There we go, we got the Hands of God, which... Not something we can really use at the moment, but... Actually, I can. No, I can't. Fist weapon bearing God's name. Strong man slaughtered dragons with his bare hands. Got like fists earned him. Title of the legendary Big M. Which actually... The dragon god might actually be that guy as a demon. Or maybe the flame worker, I'm not sure. And what is... What was that? I shouldn't have picked that up. 2-2, part 3 ends. Oh, a full moon grass. Oh, huh. Moon grass, ephemeral eye stone. Let's use a an old spice, and that should probably clear up space. Need to get some stuff back anyway. Cool. Still overburdening? Wow. And full moon grass needs... how much? I just not pick anything up until I unburden myself significantly? Weird. Greystone is... oh, Greystone's just heavy. Really, really heavy. That's funny, actually. We got... oh, four full moon grass. That's cool. So, there should be an ephemeral eye stone over there, but first we need to fight this guy. Let's fight Flame Worker. See how this goes. Generally a very hard boss. It's another contender for hardest boss in the game, but magic does kind of cheese him. So we should be okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. Really weird looking boss too, but not in a bad way. Hmm. It's got one bulging eye and one kind of just gone. And, okay, cool. Nice, and dodge, ooh, okay. Right, we need to sell the way of that fire, and can we, okay, do ooh, all right, thank you. Cool, yeah, the magic there is useful. Okay, how to use parts of the arena. Let's constantly stay on the run. Okay, I actually... Increased Blade probably won't do all that much, but it's a less to have. The big thing is that he has a lot of range. Actually, if you stay at range, he can't do much to you. He's really annoying to fight in melee because of his big AoEs. And, right, cool. Thank you. And, oh, that missed entirely. Okay, then. All right, all right, and... Good stuff, thanks. Ooh, and oh, all right. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, that did not hit. Okay. Great, great, and we're out of the way. Oh, is this phase two basically? Now that he's starting to make fire appear, or what? What is this? Okay, and uh, it's just speed is what makes bosses in this game harder than others. This unpredictability and. Oh, we managed to actually dodge that correctly. That was nice, and... 
Ooh, we'll just draw, draw. Okay. Oh wow. Well, luckily that actually did not hit nearly as much as I. Wait, what? Huh? That was stupid. Okay. All right. Oh, we were close. Pretty close. Crease blade is okay, and I will be able to upgrade the crease blade now. I think honestly, I would prefer to just upgrade the crease blade for an initial buff to magic damage. Mm -hmm. As opposed to actually, well, that's a thing. Or I could just say screw it and dupe the colorless demon souls. <laughs> well, whatever. Probably use some moon grass now. Here we are. Here we are. Got this guy and intro cutscene. Big guy. Cool. And just thanks. Where that ends. When you got hit, it seems like that's what makes you go over and cool and alright. Should dodge that actually. Cool. Thank you. He is exceptionally weak to magic too. This is great for me. And alright, cool. Tag and ooh, I totally missed. Annoying. Come on, just hit. Hit. And okay, cool. Pick that, pick that, and the damage numbers are honestly just a lot lower in this one, it feels. It isn't necessarily a bad thing, though. It makes some calculations a bit simpler. It does seem like using Crease Blade might be maybe a little less than worth it right now. That said, boss fights are already quite fast, so I... Mm, I... Uh -huh. Get over here. I ooh, okay, alright, and dodge that entirely. Annoying. Thank you. And die. Oh I never mind. I how did I manage to avoid that? It's really weird. I okay. Interesting. So his AoEs actually aren't that troublesome then. And okay, cool. Full. Just be safe. And, okay, cool. Nice. And I ooh, right. I, what am I what am I doing here? What am I actually doing here? I uh, oh, I'm just pressing the wrong button to shoot. That's what's happening. Here. Okay, but hmm. this is it's definitely the most soulsy boss in this game, actually, in the sense that I actually need to do a decent amount of oh, ooh, amount of dodging and just dodge. Oh, well, I, what? Have you gotten more aggressive, or am I just? Losing it. Okay, cool. You're actually crazy. Okay. Thanks, and just take and well, alright, we need one more quick hit on you, and what are you doing then? Thanks, die! Thanks, and that's when we're down. Now we have the red hot demon soul, which you can't actually make into an item, but you can use it to let Blacksmith Ed forge more items. Good amount of souls. Let's level up a few times. Red Hot Demon Soul. Back to the Nexus. Drop off a bunch of our crap. Heavy stuff weighing us down. Hmm. Thank you, poet. Thank you, thank you. How's it all of this? Well, it is interesting how... Different ores actually weigh different amounts. I would not expect that normally, but I like it. Since you would expect it to be somewhat standardized, but it's not. It's actually pretty cool. Spells, miracles, or Wait, weapons, but it actually can't going? be. Actually can't be made in the spells, miracles, or weapons. Interesting thing, and is this a Strava? At its peak. Boletaria was oh, hi. a grand, grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were most in the distant southern kingdom. Most in the distant kingdom. Heard us on Urk, come with us now. To believe. We're sure of great land, but he did. Here in Boletaria, we two swords are twin things in the last two hero. Two are demon oh, brands and demon soul brands. Soul brands. One sword banishes that which befouls man. An evil sword and a good and sword. the last hero is old King Doran. 
kingdom when Everlasted, the protect with the two swords, and we put in <laughs> the legend, which is all we can depend upon. We will actually meet the guy eventually. He's kind of a King super Alant, boss. Round table, Grey Knights, Saxon Dior, the knight of the tower. That was the tower knight. Met, met us. us. The knight of the lance. Meet him later. And the brave tribesman Longbow Ulin and his fearsome legions. And that was failing, but actually Ulin was apparently a woman. Lotaria is not a sword was wrong. Maybe he was just Valorax was lost. And Bjor yes. slipped through the fissure. Oh, but Bjor can be back. heard from again. All the rest, along with Volatari. Oh, be afraid of the demons. No longer. Perhaps our age. You hear us as yourself. Thanks. But perhaps. Okay, cool. Let's find her and level up real quickly before. Oh, hi, Patches. Well, I remember Hello. You. I'm glad I found you. Now you're a shopkeeper. I found some really nice trinkets. You have. Well, we've been long acquainted, so I'm willing to part with them. At a special price. Oh, if you buy today. Nothing the hyena. Is stolen. I swear I no longer partake in the whole. Oh, but he would have done thing. that if you'd gone a strike of storms before. Yeah, no, I'm completely free from my vice. Uh, my old mother would be proud indeed. Goodness. Aren't you proud of me too? Maybe so. Can we say yes? See that priest and his oh, yep, he hates clerics. They still don't trust me after behind the altar. Incident behind the altar and that wait shouldn't they believe in forgetting. forgiving and forgetting and all that i wonder well, what that implies i have news for them food in my mouth or anyone else's has not put food in my this mouth is the start of patches anyone hate else's. for clerics too yeah now aren't you okay can we get nothing all that much we could get shorts of archstone but those are a waste for now oh we can what? buy a fragment yet yeah, refu refusing my offer and are you okay? You okay? Okay. So resting, presumably. Get a few more levels out of this, then. Thank you. Strength, the dex, and... Grant it so the world might be mended. Faith, and we'll take a bit of faith. Okay, cool. Strength, help the world be mended. All right then, and we have, yeah, three colorless demon souls. Hmm. Okay, let's keep on going. Back to right. We can actually upgrade the crease blade now. Well, I, I don't know. The crease blade is cool, but it would be useful. The damage boost would be great, but yeah, I'll stick to the crease blade for now. An even larger dragon skeleton. Well, big thing is we can give him the red hot blacksmith and the red hot demon soul for some additional forging options. Be really, really nice too. Oh, they're high. And boom, knock you over. And I guess you may as well get the hard stone. Yeah, as long as I have even one of those, I can just clone them on my own time whenever I actually feel like doing any upgrading, so not in any real hurry. You know, I could probably just drop down onto one of them instead of waiting for the Potter Nostra to go all the way up before it starts going down, but uh, whatever. All good. Cool. Mm -hmm. I will. Hello. What do you need? Straight for the door and. Oh wow. Man, busy or has a grade. High grade. Spirit or Spirit Force delights the eyes. Don't know why things are sounding so weird. Let's actually wait. How do we. Wait. Waste my time. So, how do we get him to accept the Red Hot Demon's soul? Hmm. Give in to Blacksmith Ed. Talk to him until he doesn't say anything different to get him to take it. Okay. Red Hot Demon Soul? Nice, there we go. Give it, there we go. Trust in the great Blacksmith Ed. Bring me a demon soul! Use it to bless your weapon. I don't know what's up with the audio. Well, whatever. Is we can turn this into an insanity catalyst. 
And I think I will. There we are. We also have... Hmm. Can't do that because I don't have... Oh, we can use that to undo it. That's funky. But, as of right now, that's the only thing we could do. Hmm. Some other weapons later, but for now it's all. Gone, I work alone. I wonder why. Okay. The Insanity Catalyst will have our maximum MP, but it should be... Let me just check. Even higher spell buff than this. Yeah, that... It's... A bit more. It's a meaningful difference, but... I don't know. We'll see. Do some testing. Either way, we can... Go back and grab some things from the Tunnel City now. That's what I'll do. Hmm. Big thing is, what I should probably actually do specifically is... Cast a bunch with a Wooden Catalyst, and then once I get down to half MP, switch to Insanity. And that would be... The most efficient way to do things, because as of right now, you switch and it just cuts it in half and it doesn't restore. So... I can skeleton first. We want to go over here and just escape. Actually, we want to drop down, get some things. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there you are. Hello. Cool. Cool. And the big amount of damage just knocked you right over. Fun. Here we are, let's get a more hard stone, whatever. One, two. I think here a chunk of sharp stone, but question is, my item burden is gonna go up after I kill these scale miners. So I gotta be smart about how I do this. One, two. Phosphorescent pull is useful though. Now that I'm using soul rain instead of soul arrow and soon even stronger spells and wait what? Okay. Huh. Thanks, thanks. Cool. Either way, the big thing is, the only hard boss left is gonna be the final boss. Everything else is more or less gonna be simple now. At least hard in different ways. Not necessarily easy, but a different kind of battle. One. Oh goodness, I should actually just soul ray you. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Cool. Thanks. Cool. Corpse for a shard of Greystone, and... Cool. Oh, alright. One, two. Hmm. What else is here? Nothing quite there, but we need to find a spot where we can drop down without dying. Lots of items over here, but... Get over to the other side effectively. Hmm. Make sure we don't drop down in a dangerous spot. Let's see where all the items are. And we start dropping here, but hello. And um, wait, what? Can I wait? What? What? Okay. That was dumb. It was really dumb. Okay. Well, I'll. Find a way down. Probably gonna have to go through multiple times to get items I haven't got so far, but I'll live. Okay. And Seer Vera should be around here, but somewhere around here. Big thing is that this is actually a shortcut to the Flame Worker. If you want to just rush to the area, you can do that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Evacuate would be nice, but I need a talisman versus another ring of disease resistance. Okay, I guess. And I wait, what? Okay. All right then. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna. I'll take it. This and that. And where is Sirvir? Anywhere around here? Or dropping down is cool, but it's not the only thing. I think that might be his spot. It's a decent chance. Getting evacuate would be nice too. 
And this is where we were before. This is a drop down to... Oh, but that's right, you can't slide down ladders or anything. You have to go down painstakingly no matter what. Okay, cool. Unknown hero soul. Stats are it. Yeah, three more levels and I can use... Oh, okay. Three more levels and I can use Talisman of Peace, which would be very useful for me. Okay. Cool. Cool. That is... Down here this is... Can we drop? If we can, get another unknown hero's soul. Take that, and down here should be Sirvir, presumably. I think. Probably use, actually, Crescent Moongrass for this. Let's see. Yeah, and then when he inevitably just blows me apart, we can try other stuff. But, we were about to fall ahead. Is this where? Is this where? Or, I think it might be. Oh, no, it was not. It was not the place. It was not to be. Yeah, I... Hmm, okay. Alright, then. Okay. Hmm, hmm. Now have to figure this out some other way. Okay. Luckily, down here is fine, really. But... And honestly, I might want to deal with some of these guys some other way, but that deals meaningful increased damage, and frankly not enough to justify the issues, so to speak. Okay. In that case, honestly, I'm just gonna kill Dragon God now. I'll be okay. Frankly, I should probably want to undo Start with Ephemeral Eyes, and what is my item burden is still at a fine enough position. Okay. You should be good. It's through here. This is Story of Hero's Soul. Then, but right on the other side is Dragon God, who killed us after we killed the Vanguard in the tutorial. Which is funny. Okay. Interesting. Let's, this should be okay. We don't really need mana for this. Now I've done it. Okay. Here we are, the underground temple. And the dragon god should show up relatively soon, but flame res ring would be better for this than magical sharpness. Especially if magical sharpness would increase the damage I take, which I don't think it would, but still. Please recommend this message. Okay, cool. Somehow I get the impression that that isn't all that relevant or active, but there we are, the Dragon God. Ryuji, we'll figure out where to hide from you, and... Alright, alright, fine. Is that a Crystal Wizard over there? That is a Crystal Wizard. Okay, cool. Thanks. And... One. Two. And over here is a chunk of sharps. Oh, that leads to Dragon Demon Smasher. Kind of reminds me of the... Let me just hide behind these. Gonna use fire? Gonna punch me? Or... Snow Tombstar Silver. Thanks. And we can break that out of the way. Let's just do this slow and steady. Another funky puzzle boss. Okay, cool. Cool. Let's run it. Hide. We saw... Uh, this is dealing good damage, though. That's the big surprise for me. Okay, so we just run to the next one, and oh my goodness, how did... Okay. Got trapped by the punch. Weird. Okay, cool. So presumably that would normally... Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So normally all of its attacks are pretty much insta-kills unless I use... I could use warding, actually. I could. Go back, put in warding, and use that. Could be a good idea. Because that would in decrease physical damage taken by 70%, which is really, really good, but we'll see. Okay. Well. Decently fast. 
gotta encounter Suvu afterwards, but that shouldn't be too much trouble. It's just Shrine of Storms, which is gonna be short, presumably. Other things too. Hmm. Okay. Enter the Slog. Zoom away, kill that Crystal Wizard. Do I? Is it right over there? It is right over there. Fun. Okay, cool. And wait, what? Alright. Thanks. One, two, three. Okay. Use my full moon grass. Another time to really use it effectively, so. One, two, three, and. Oh, but I. Never mind. I, okay. Cool. Thanks. Alright. What were you trying to punch? Oh, but you broke that for me. How convenient. Uh, we're having some audio glitches, though. Let's hide behind here. Now you punched. Let's activate this ballista. Where do we activate the ballista, though? Okay. New moon grass, which... What does that do? Do you have to hit this thing to... Make it work, or... No, you operate it like this. Sink a big arrow deep into its flash. And yep, this is a puzzle boss, not a real boss. Good stuff, really. And deep in your flash. Cool. Oh, so it's clinging on. Oh, wow. Oh, and then it breaks that rubble, which is the only way we can continue in the fight. So the big question is, is it like Bed of Chaos where you repeat all these every single time, or what? Either way, we're doing okay. This is a Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. And then, what else? We got more rubble. Okay, cool. Thanks. Alright. We'll just... What are we even trying to punch? Well, whatever. Okay, alright. One, two... And then where? Where do we go? Luckily we're free, but... Come on. Wait for you to punch something again. And if we're lucky, you would break the rubble for us. Now you see me. Go and use your big ol' fist. Do something. Okay, and... Is that something, or am I just blanking? Two, and... Keep on running. This is a silly one, but... One, two... Thanks. Cool. Alright. And we just run up to the next ballista. Operate it, and cool. There we are, and that's the end of Dragon God. It's that simple. Just have to run in, hit its head once, and it'll die. Get its soul, which I think I'll trade in for Fireball. Probably the best fire damage spell in the game. And this is, oh, a Crystal Wizard. Okay. And prevent you from disappearing, please. What did he say? Wow, because I killed a big dragon? That made you sad? How tragic. Okay. Oh, but something over this way, too. What am I gonna get over there, then? That... Oh, the Master's Ring. Oh, but that rubble's still blocked. Okay. That would be the Dragon Bone Smasher, which is the heaviest greatsword in the game. Well, one of the few ultra great swords and standard original demon souls, so let's go down, hit you with literally anything, and you'll die. Okay, cool. Legendary soldier's soul end. That's just You can finish this with literally an Oh, okay. Big damage, just completely unarmed hit. Oh, that Oh! Wait, what? What? Okay. Never mind, that was stupid. Okay. So I guess that'll answer the question. What's gonna happen? Well, you know, it takes two to tango. Okay. Uh, that's clippable. That was clippable. Oh god. So in that case, I'm bonking it with the bonking stick. But a barehanded hit did not do enough damage to kill. It was actually really surprising. 
Hmm. Okay. Back at the start now, though, so... Hmm. Okay. Used up a decent amount of our grass, which is not good. Okay. Alright. Over and take you out. Oh, but you're respawning because of the... That's right. Oh, come on. Okay. okay. One, two, user. Another full. I don't need the crystal lizard stuff. I really don't. Okay. And oh, the rubble's all broken already. But we do have to use the... Oh, come on. It didn't punch me, but I'm still stuck. Come on. Okay. And what? What? Really? Okay. Okay. We're so close, too. All I needed to do was actually use the bonking stick. But I wanted to be funny. And as they say, pride goeth before a fall. Which is why it's in June. Okay. Well, you know, you get more crystal lizards every given time. Hmm. Didn't get that brushwood set, but we'll live. Okay. Hmm. I'm just a talisman of beasts. And also just because that black phantom showing up is a black world tendency event. I'd like to show off all the world tendency events. Okay, cool. Come on, come on. And another or... No, no more of you. Okay. Cool. Just do your thing. Do your thing. Okay. And... Oh, what? Really? What? Okay. This has become actual nonsense. I'm losing it. Okay. And we did so well the first time. That's the worst part. Okay, well, showing the wrong thing again. If we did it once, we can hopefully do it again, but I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. It may be. It may not be. Okay. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. But what's interesting is that the intro music actually sounds kind of similar to the narwhal theme from Genshin, which... Should tell you something that that's what I think of. And it definitely shouldn't tell you anything good, but... It's nice that the rubble stayed broken, even though we still have to redo all that. Okay, come on. Thanks. Thank you. Wait for that and then... Wait for the... Oh, come on! What in the... Huh? I... Alright. And... Okay, cool. Thanks. So basically, whenever it does that, it's going to punch two times in a row. Okay. Cool. And then the only thing it really will do after that is the big fire breath, which I could kind of safely ignore. But it seems rather inconsistent. <laughs> but it's... You can't do damage to it directly. You just shoot the bullets at it and then insta-kill it unless you're stupid. And I... Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Big thing is, not even the bogging stick. I should finish it off with magic from range. Don't even need to worry about getting a melee at all. Thanks. Cool. And wait, what? Huh? What was that? I don't even understand. And you're gonna immediately punch again, or what? Okay. Cool. All right, let's just run through and cool. Okay, just gotta. While you're distracted, and I guess when you're not looking at me. Okay, cool. Took a good deal of that down. Now we just run through again. Thanks. Probably hide a bit. And what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna. Okay, cool. Thanks. Soon, boy, you're gonna start breathing fire now, which means we just gotta outrun this while you breathe fire at me. Or don't. Or 
not do that. Okay, cool. And you know what? Let's kill this crystal lizard. Why not? We're in a relatively safe position. Thanks. Chunks of clear stone, and there we are. Time to finish this again. Okay. I just do not care anymore. Okay. Don't need to see that cutscene again. Okay. Then, anything over that way, or... Yeah, we could use the bonk stick, or we could just... Sandy Catalyst Soul Ray. Yeah, okay. Cool. Thanks. Wait, did... Wait. 109 and... Okay. Can I lock onto you if I get closer, or... Let me see. I... I'm definitely locked on. Oh, is it hitting that... Oh, it's hitting that protrusion. Okay. Cool. And... Don't have enough magic, so... Have a bit more in a second. One last cast, and sure, let's switch to the crease blade just for fun. And die! Okay, goodbye. See ya. That was only worse than it should have been. Another destroyed demon. Great stuff. Okay. We got the... Flame Demon Soul? Dragon Demon Soul and the Pure Dragon Stone. Let's go back to the Nexus, get enough to use... Talisman. It's gonna be funny that we're gonna be in Talisman of Beast before we're getting other Talismans. <laughs> Alright. And she's over there. It is interesting how she moves it around a little. It's a bit like the Firekeeper from Dark Souls 3. I like how they made it a little less inconvenient. Okay. Magic. Faith. We'll be able to get another slot, but we're okay. Okay. And strength help the world be mended. Now that's... Wait, wait, no. No. That's 143, 126. Okay, cool. It's actually... Yeah, we gotta go back to... Underground Shrine, where spell is seal on the Dragon God, repaired to Zagan, maintained it well. Now this is where we go to... Take down... Other stuff. Okay. Gotta go... File. Hmm. One of these guys... Hi, hello there. Hi. Slam, slam, slam. Slam, slam. Okay. Short zone shard and... I could be... Leveling some of these up. Well, whatever. Hmm. Okay, one, two. Scale miner. Oh, another one. One, two. Alright. Because they're base- oh, iron knuckles. Now that we need those. Basically, these guys are slowly turning into dragons. That's why they're all scaly. One, two. One, two. These guys drop so few souls. It's honestly kind of crazy. Okay. The new moon grass. That's my question. Also, I just need more grass, so... Honestly, going to Boletari Inner Ward might not be such a bad idea. Maybe, it depends. Thanks, and- oh my goodness, okay. Going to Inner Ward just for the sake of... ...getting more grass. Cuz... Boletari is where you go for grass, Lunter is where you go for other stuff. Hmm, well, we'll figure it out. Watch yourself. Okay. So got the end who I want to take out. Let's see what happens. And then we can from there, drop down to the other side, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get through. And Scurvier, the Launderer, should be over here. Somewhere. That is. Chunk of Queer Stone. Shard of Sharp Stone, and... No, but seriously, how do I get to Scurvier? Hmm. I'll just think. Let me check the map. Let's 
So I think tunnel down here to there. Got a hardstone, sharpstone, shard, and do I? How do I? Okay. Weird. Assumable soul items, and it doesn't really tell you how to get down there. That's the thing. The map's kind of lame. Hmm. Well, I. Interesting. Over there, and. Scurvy or the Wanderer. I know how to get to him. Okay, I. Alright. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is something. Scurvy or the Wanderer. I get to him. Wanderer Black Phantom. I get to him. Where is he? gonna see how to get through. Hmm. Going down from the right side. Going down, going... Hmm, going to the left. Going a bit farther in. Then you drop down, keep running forward, and drop down, just keep going forward, okay. Weird. All right, then I okay. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Well, I know how I feel, and I don't like it. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, all right. And now I'm on here, which is not going to leave me much of anything. And I also just don't have a way to get to the nexus from here. I. Yeah, I'm in a pretty bad state. Don't have a shard of archstone or anything, and I just don't have anything. Ah! Yeah, I... Wow. Okay. Okay. Did I... Whatever. Hmm. <sighs> whatever. Did I lose my body form? I mean, I've got plenty of eye stones, but that's still embarrassing. The really annoying thing is that I can't... It's all the same executable. So it's a total crapshoot whether it... I mean, usually it gets the emulation window instead of the emulation mini window. But when I close it, sometimes it will not correct itself. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Hmm. And did it save because I fell? I think it saved because I fell. Yeah, and I- wait, what? That's really weird. Okay. Huh. Femoral Eye Stone. Yeah, that was strange. And it sent me all the way back here. All the way back to the start, too. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Hmm. Well, that sucked a little. Just a little. Took got that crystal wizard, but even still, I'm not glad about this. Chunk of sharpstone. Big thing is having a back away. It's going to be really nice, and I will have that soon. Okay. Cool. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Shard of Sharpstone. We are actually kind of running high on item burden, but uh, after this we should be okay. Talisman isn't going to weigh all that much, so we'll be fine, presumably. Greystone is heavy, though, and... Oh, come on. Stupid. I, okay. Actually, I... Let's just use a soul ray on them. Oh, but do I not have that's right, I don't have sharpness on right now. Let's just get that then. Yep, and that made it go from a one-hit kill to not a one-hit kill. 
Nice. Cool. Oh. Graystone. Which I won't even really use. But whatever. Splatterstone. Graystone. So where is my bloodstain, though? Yeah, that's a really annoying spot for it to be in, especially since. The only way I can get that back is by using Evacuate now. Just run forward, apparently, basically. Keep moving forward, I can get to Scurvier's location. Mm -hmm. Question is, what is the new moon grass? Cover OHP. Mm -hmm. Dropping down this way. Okay. Thanks. Scurvier should be past the bat. Okay. Well, alright then. I'll use that new moon grass now. Thanks. Saving that for just the right time. Oh, but I missed that, which was a consumable soul item. Well, whatever. Big thing is, Scurvier is right over that way, and a couple of crystal lizards who I don't particularly care about. And, okay, cool. Thanks, alright. Cool. And you're not actually really rolling. That's fine by me. Okay, and Insanity Catalyst. That's actually a pretty meaningful damage difference. And you'll try doing some healing on yourself, but to no avail. Hello there, hi. Just gonna slowly walk towards me and... Oh, interesting. Cool. Fresh spice. And what are you gonna use? You're... Oh, my... wait, what? Okay. Cool, I... dodge. And can I... Dodge, and can I use this to walk off? Yeah, I can't. Dodge, cool. Dodge, and cool. Slowly walking. Slowly walking towards me, and can I... Not enough. Okay. More damage is good, but we're wasting a little bit of MP on our spice, so... I Okay. Nice, and you're gonna use that talisman, so can I... Nice, cool. Die, die, okay, nice. So you got your Talisman of Beast, which would be useful for a number of reasons. The item Talisman of Beast. Can use that thing now too. Poor guy. I guess so. Maybe. So in that case, I... So would he be her normally in body form, or... Just see the... Wooden Catalyst versus 126 versus... It's actually worse, but... Hmm. Big difference is I can use it for miracles too, which I'm going to do right now. Uh, the symbol of God was nothing more than the image of the old one. Nice. Okay. Let's evacuate. Turn of the Nexus. Okay. That was quite convenient, actually. So now, in that case, oh, and right, that statue is basically our checkpoint for that. I want to get my bloodstain back for one. Okay. Sanity Catalyst was cool. It's not everything, though. And, uh, mm, we're dangerously high on burden. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Oh, good. Fire spray, soul ray. We can just soul ray these guys to death to avoid wasting more grass on them. Cool! Really, really good. And. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers again. Love that. Basically, nothing in terms of actual soul gain, but that's life. And. Oh my goodness. That's insane. Still is just crazy how much damage I can do with this. If I can actually get enemies lined up. Okay. Let's go get that bloodstain and continue on our merry way. But, oh, well, I... Dang it. Dang it. Okay. He is. I need to find a way to get to that spot. This is... Huh. Down here we would. That's not actually the that point yet. We can 
go around a little, I think. And yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. Pick up this. Also pick up, I did not mean to do that. To his heal. And there we are. Nice to have that, but it's just, ooh, ooh. And we can just barely grab this, then use. Evacuate again. Oh, but I, how much does that cost again? So evacuate cost, I, hmm. Cost of evacuate is, let's see. Evacuate. Demon souls. And 40, okay, whatever. But I don't want to use a spice on this. That would be a profound waste. So I'll just let this happen. Okay. Then maybe use my insanity catalyst to go through and actually probably, well, we'll see. i to get that blood stain back first. Cool. Okay. Blood stain back, go back to the Nexus. Survive. Probably get some more grass and spice, probably. Mm -hmm. I think evacuate now is really good, though. It's pretty unreliable. I... Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'll stick to Phosphorescent Pull. I'll start upgrading Phosphorescent because what I get out of it is, honestly, the regen is more valuable than anything else I could be getting, really. This Cruise Blade is nice, but the mana for more casts is probably going to be more useful in the end, and I can also just upgrade Cruise Blade anyway, so... I'll get 10 Carlos Demon Souls by the end of this playthrough. Yeah, I'll be okay. Oh my, wait, what? Where is, oh, there was another one behind. Okay, whatever. Come on. And how many got hit? And most of you got hit. One's left. Okay, die. One, two, okay. That means <clears throat> I get my blood stain back, I evacuate back to the Nexus. And I, oh, hello, cool. One, two. We have only 16 right now, okay. That'll mean a bit of sitting around, probably. I don't like that. Well, all right. That fireball that Suvir was casting, we'll be able to actually get for ourselves shortly using the Dragon God Soul. It's a good item. And while souls touch the mark of death itself, bring more souls than the of demons. And that would be... Wait a minute. So you get 35 back. May not be the most engrossing way to do things, but... Okay. 6, 32, 31, 30, 29, 8, no. Okay. Okay. Almost there. Almost got what I need to escape back. Thank you, thank you. Every four seconds we get more regenerated. Okay. Should be good. Oh, but right, we need to actually have it. That's right. Three, four. And what? Ah, come on. One, two, three, four. There we go. Wait, what? Huh? Now this should be enough. Wait, is it 40? Yeah, it was 40, I think. Oh my goodness, I'm starting to lose it. Uh, it's good to have equipped, but... <clears throat> okay. 39. 40 soon. Okay, there we are. Let's upgrade our funny stick and it'll give us regen every 2.5 seconds, I believe. I think. Go back to Ed.
And the big thing is that besides some minor White World Tensei events, these are mostly done in. Uh, pretty much done in Stone Fang. Hmm. So let's just go through. Decent amount of MP. And we can go down, maybe drop onto there. There we go, only a little bit of fall damage too. I will add. Let it be a black Some coin. Let's upgrade our pole. Or was demon soul, which actually would wait. It's getting increased. Oh, the magic damage of the scaling, I think. Yeah. That's significant. It's actually a big, somewhat decent... Oh, but it restored, actually, the durability. That's what happened. Repair, upgrade and restores durability. 25, and now... 34. The scaling's going up, and that's pretty good, but... Well done. Gun, I work alone. Yeah, we figure. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. What the talisman I've got right now? And eventually, relatively soon actually, this should outpace the other talismans. It'll take some time. Mm hmm. Spell assist. Actually, I could... I kind of feel like doing a damage test. Soul Ray or something real quick. And it's a Bulletaria. Because it's very possible that might be sort of... 142 and the amount over 100 is doubled effectively. I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. So much damage. And 232 versus 264. Oh, it is stronger. And yep, since I am leveling them up pretty much evenly, I need to effectively double whatever portion is above. And that was a meaningful difference. It's quite nice, actually. 232... And, let me see, 232 versus, and for the other damage, we got, let's see, alright, cool, yeah, 264, it's not meaningless at all, so the wooden catalyst, we effectively have no need for anymore, just gotta focus on Never item would be slightly better for the given fight. This is, this is pretty nice, actually. And, oh my, okay. Cool. And, yeah. I think it's time to maybe go back to the Nexus. Archstone is right over there. Drop some stuff off and then actually get started in Shrine of Storms. That would be fun. Hmm. <laughs> Soul Ray or Talisman of Bees. Insanity Catalyst is good. The big thing is, is that the regen, especially since, like I said, I did not use Crease Blade. Let's drop this stuff off. Hello again. I'm keeping. Thank you. Deposit items. Deposit all of these. Hard ore. That's Sweet Swords Hammers. What makes the gray stone different? Well, the big thing is that actually all most of these are specialized for certain weapon types. More than they're really a specific kind of upgrade, I would say. Pure clear stone, gray stone, dull line, straight swords as axes, hammers, bludgeoning, dragon stone, cool. Anything else or where are the iron knuckles? Stone fangs, blacksmith, and slug this weapon, let loose and slug it out. Hmm, Demon Old Monk, no dreams of the future, place your trust in the power of the Golden Garb. Okay. Hmm. Well, the big thing is, we've got some duplicate rings now. Get 
rid of any duplicate rings we have. We may as well. Master's ring, direct hits. Swordsmithing, distinct spell. Thou seeketh so Not right now. Not right now, I don't. Already gone through Latria. Politar will be a bit later. The big thing is we're kind of running well on other kinds of grass. I think it would be good to try to take out Satsuki first, though. Blackspirit Satsuki who shows up just immediately here. But kinda Politaria. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's right, I wanted to get fireball. Right. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thing you couldn't hit me. So Dragon God can give you God's Wrath is in Wrath of the Gods from other Souls games. Firestorm or Fireball. But I don't have access to Yuri or Saint Urban yet, so we just need Fireball. And Bone Soaking Lava, Embodiment, and the Power Inherent in the Colossal Flames. Cool. But for now, we actually don't have enough room for both of these, which means... Just need to take Fireball. Okay. Bring me my patient. Fine Magician Friend. But actually, I think I might want to... Use this soul. I can get another quick level, which would allow us to get one more level of intelligence. And, ooh, we need about 2,000. Wow. Okay. We are, that's more or less just what we need. Intelligence, and we got... Three. Okay, cool. Thank you. Help the world be mended. Let's re equip Soul Gang. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Your spells and take Soul Gang. There we go. Cool. Fine, Magician Friend. It is. One thing I do find very interesting is the fact that miracles and. Sorceries have entirely different kinds of spell slots, which means there isn't really any interference between them. You can have them somewhat equally if you focus a bit on both. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, but the... Oh, my goodness. Okay. And I think... Someone's coming. I don't like that. Oh, please. I do not like you, Satsuki. Thanks. And... Oh, my goodness. What an annoying guy. Okay. So this should still deal more damage. Well, not if I don't hit. Okay, and just dodge and... Thank you. Toss and... How much damage did that deal? Can't even tell. Oh, no! The, this actually deals more damage. Wow. And... Well, as long as it connects. And more spice. I need lots of more things. And... 170. And... Ah... Uh, Please. Okay. Now we'll drop the Hilt list, which is a pretty good weapon. It's the best Dax Katana, if I recall correctly. And come on, we're actually running out of MP. And one more fireball should do it. Just getting close. And come on. You're out of spice. And you are. What? No, you are. No, never mind. I hate you. Okay. Well, that means we have to go and actually farm some in Latria. This could not have gone better. Well, the big thing is that actually Insanity Catalyst is not... It's not better. Not meaningfully. Wow. Hmm. So could I actually have a shield on? I could, couldn't I? It's funny to think. After all this time, I finally get to use a shield. Okay. But I... Tommy was so poor, I could have killed him, but then he healed at the exact worst time for me. Okay. Hmm. Let's fireball these squid heads. And boom. And it's a one hit kill. Awesome. Oh, but, well, whatever. And my. Generation of mana is getting a bit better. 
do have evacuate now, which is also nice. Oh, there, hi. Boom. That's a bit of fire at you. Okay, cool. Yeah, the damage we have is more than enough, even without priest blade. So, like, okay, now you're gonna come at me, but single fireball will kill. Now just... You're not dropping anything this time for some reason. Don't know why. Okay, cool. Please, Royal Lotus and a Shard of Moonlight Stone, but... I just... I don't want to have to buy spice. I might have to, but I don't want to. Uh, uh, I'm definitely going to have to buy spice at this pace. It's the big question is how much I'd get from the Dragon Merchant. Especially since I've gotten to the point where actually leveling up is becoming harder and harder. And I may as well just buy spice. I'm going to do another quick run through here. Go buy some spice from the Dragon Merchant. And hopefully not have to do another spice run at all. But we'll see. This is... This is remains very, very silly. To me. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Some more illithids. It is very nice being able to just one-shot them with a fireball. Thanks. Fire right in the face. And yeah, it's just... For whatever reason. No... No spice. Spiceless. Okay. Yeah, decent amount of... Decent amount of souls. Enough to buy spice, but... I just... This is not the way I want to be doing things. It's... I can't imagine that they're... Taking notice of my farming and... Stopping me from farming, but... I don't even know at this point. All I know is... There's another... Mind flare in here that I could just kill real quick. But right, this is where Freak was, so. Alright. Keep on going down. What a complicated, confusing area. So you are. Where is. Alright, oh, the warden area. Okay, cool. Be a good way to take some of you out. Thanks. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more spice. Or not, I guess. Because you hate me. You don't want to give me spice. And oh my goodness, I okay, and wait what? Come on, just die already. And oh, that's pretty good. Get out through here. Get out through here, and I Okay, one more, one more. Thank you, thank you. Cool. And toss that on you. Goodbye. And we finally got a couple of fresh spies. All things of fresh spice, but really, it just so inconvenient. Well, whatever. One more guy here to kill, and we can go back through with the fool's idol and be done with it. Cool. Hi, hello. Uh, oh, wait, what? Never mind. That was so silly. Okay. Okay. Uh, getting one shot is never fun. Okay. The interesting thing is that it makes sense why, to an extent, if faith is a power that resists demons, that faith reduces damage, magic damage type. Okay. Cool. Oh, well, alright then. Alright. That's what we got going for us. Well, you know, we got really high damage fire now, which is good. That is nothing to sneeze at. That's the big question is, oh goodness. Well, the... My dark chocolate melted. That's a surprise to me. I was not expecting that to happen. Okay, where am I actually? Where is that? Okay, right out here. Let's not get one shot this time. Didn't even think it was in a particularly warm location. Whatever. Now we have... Don't have enough to cast two fireballs, that's the thing. Yeah, it is. That's life. 
Yeah, the regeneration being upgraded is really, really good, actually. Okay, and just... Really, really, I... Damn you. Okay. Okay. I... The time it takes to cast... One interesting thing about Demon Souls is that unlike other Souls games, all other Souls games since, there is no way to increase your casting speed. I'm pretty sure. At least nothing that I saw looking at mechanics. So in Dark Souls 1, there's... Higher dexterity is the faster you cast. In Dark Souls 2, there's a ring, and also I think it's attunement and maybe... I don't think dexterity, I think also individual casting stats is an intelligence and faith also increase it in ds3 it's dexterity again and also rings that mimic dexterity for that purpose in this is taking some time okay okay in elden ring it's also dexterity and also a ring but it's weird it's weird and not like that, we need a bit more magic. Just we can just slow walk over and try not to die this time. Big thing is, when it starts chasing me, it's when it's actually the easiest to deal with. And we need a little bit more load for it to get back, because normally... So it starts at 4 seconds, and for every upgrade level, normally it goes down by 0.5. So from 4 to... 3.5, then a 3 every 3 seconds, then for the final upgrade, we'll jump straight from 2 to 1, if I recall correctly, which is really, really nice. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thank you. Just go ahead, do your thing. And, alright, so now you're gonna chase me, which is fine by me, because it means I can just hit you without you doing any kind of projectile garbage. Two fresh spikes. I... that's still not enough. The big thing is that... <sighs> Old Spice is still... it restores twice as much as Fresh Spice, if I recall correctly. But what I want to focus on is being cost-effective more than anything else. Can't do Evacuate right now, so I just gotta go back to that Archstone. At least kill some guys in this church while I'm waiting for my mana to regenerate. Hmm, okay, cool, cool. Alright, then, okay. It was nice that I poked around and randomly found the one lying guy. That was convenient. Because the guy with the yellow magic up top over there would have revived the boss otherwise if I hadn't killed him. Because normally he says he's doing nothing, but I killed him. Didn't even know he would have dialogue. Just killed him immediately, which I have no regrets about, frankly. Let's go up and thank you. Cool. Alright. And then we'll go up here. Go back to this archstone and we Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't have had enough, so. Return to the Nexus, return to the Druggling Merchant. We can get some grass along the way too. Okay. Like over here. Small king. Terranite Archstone. Kill some blood knights and other dudes. We'll be chillin'. So the question is, how much will Soul Rain deal compared to a fireball? Oh well, whatever. Cool. Die. Okay, and 351 versus... Half Moon Grass, that's okay. Big thing is that fire is... Well, magic is specifically effective on... Well, both of them work. Both of them work. Okay, cool. Fire is specifically effective on armor. I mean, magic is specifically effective on armor. Okay, examine the corpse. More Half Moon Grass and a throwing knife. Cool. Cool. Die. Souls are somewhere, but to get down there, we'll need a key from later on, so we need to get, most likely, should try to grab some- oh, okay. Oh, we both missed each other. Isn't that fun? So we're spies and such from the Draggling Merchant, and then we'll be decently alright. Thank you, thank you. Die. 
And anything, no, nothing. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's use this to take out a few of you. Thanks. Alright, alright. Cool. How much? Now, this would just enough MP to use evacuate, so actually, well. And I could have used a pull. Could have used the pull for that. Whatever. Cool. Die. Die, die, die. In that case, we'll go down. Talk to the merchant. And hopefully, buy a good amount of spice and be on our merry way. Wait, wait, wait. Do I. Ah, oh, right. There were a couple more of the guys. Fun. Okay. There you are. Okay. Gone. Treat yourself to something. I guess I will. But I wait, wait. Where do I buy? Where do I buy spice from? Well, spice, spice, blacksmith, Baldwin. Oh, actually, Baldwin has it. Oh, but once royal mistress has the cheapest source of spice. Let me just see. And souls, old spice, and it's 100 as compared to royal mistress. 100 versus 50. Okay, so the fresh spice costs a lot less. Okay. So in that case, it's time to actually go back to Latria again. It's always Latria. Okay. Just buy a bunch of spice. Okay. Well, actually, I got four. Should actually be enough for Satsuki. I I don't want to have to buy spice unless I absolutely have to. Is it just it's aggravating? Mm -mm. Alright. Cool. Oh, well, whatever. Come on. Come on. Alright. Cool. You're still relatively close. You won't try to escape or anything, so. Cool. Nice. And take our spice and we're running close or what? Thanks. And. Alright. Thanks. Do that and. Try to heal soon, but we could. Thanks, and can we? Cool. And oh, we need. Can I? Never mind. I need to kill you. Kill you before you can. Nice. There we go. We gotcha. Okay. Cool. Got the hilt list, which is a pretty cool item. It is. A katana that deals damage to you when you hit with it, but it's actually the strongest base damage of those swords. Thank good Let's see. Pause it, and we can put this away, and it doesn't weigh that Ah, it weighs a decent amount. Hiltless Uchigatana, faintly wet, this famous swordsmith in distant land. Must screw up the blade, because there's no handle. Default to handle, because there is no handle causing damage to the wielder. Okay. Wait, where So we managed that. And I, how much more do we need for one more level up? Let's see. We don't even want right now, probably just Vitality. A little over a thousand souls for this. Soldier Soul. Decent. Let's just level up our Vitality. There we go, cool. Goodbye. Go back to Shrine of Storms. Should be good. Magic is going to be good against the skeletons, I believe. Also, well, the big thing is we killed the phantom. Hmm. Which means we've actually killed two out of three of those relevant phantoms, actually. Silver skeleton is weak to fire. Really weak to fire. Normally those guys are really a pain, so that's good. Hmm. Vanguard should be over here close, actually. 
Half moon grass. That was nice to get. We got any spice from here? Let's see. And I. Oh well. All right. Thanks. And I. Ooh. Okay. And the fact that they'll. It's basically as if every single skeleton in the game was a bone wheel. Okay. Twenty storms. Island's edge. So presumably we're going to be tilling down deeper into the island. Okay, cool, and just take you out. A little fireball. Sort of blade soon. You have magic arrows. Okay. What does? For you, maybe. Did you see me suffer? Okay, alright, and. I, okay. Die, die, die. The big thing is that these guys are so fast. You can't really roll past them like you can with a lot of other enemies. Gold skeletons, though, might be my way. See, the big thing is, is that there's supposed to be a Vanguard Demon rematch around here. Which is fine for us, because we already killed that guy, but... The question is, can I even... Will this hit? And, yeah, we can actually take you out from here. That's fine. Cool. Sorry, sorry. Gotta love having projectiles. Then, Talisman of God... Valuable treasure ahead, but... Can I vault that, or no, I guess not. What I do know is that there's a shortcut that you can only get if you take off all of your armor. Now here with soul, and then a roll. Well, we'll live. Soldier's Lotus. Uh huh. Could try... Oh, and yep, the Vanguard Demon's right there, but... We could probably actually use our... Bonking Stick. Hello there. So you're going to be much easier now. Because of the different arena we're fighting you in. Cool. Oh, you're stronger. Alright. And? I think I hear... Oh, a storm beast. Okay. Cool. And now you're dead. Some big old manta rays over there. Okay. Oh, an item. Cloudstone. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Alright. Hmm. Fun. Full moon grass. We got a good amount of grass just poking around here. Interesting. Uh, okay. Cool. And oh, alright. That was not good. Okay. Cool. And. Ha. Huh. Alright. You know, I could just sit here and take pot shots at you. Definitely one of the ways I can handle this fight. Issue is, is that we don't have a lot of spice right now, and I don't want to buy more spice. Hmm. And... Oh, what? Really? Yeah, the range on that is horrible. Just horrible to deal with. The big thing is that we can't run while we're locked on, which is probably the worst reason. Worst thing about this, and cool. Nice. Can we? 151. Now yeah, the bonking six good. Yeah, the fact that it deals mostly magic is helpful, and oh my goodness, another storm beast over there. You've got to be kidding. Whatever. Hi. Okay. Cool. Take out this Vanguard demon. It is fun that they have a rematch for this thing. Okay. One, two, three. And, alright. Spell around. One, two. Roll. Okay. One, two. And that's all. That's all, folks. That's all she wrote. Cool. And, oh, barely any reward. Oh, but we got another gray demon soul. For anyone who cares. We already had one of those, so it's not like we got anything special there, but whatever. Okay. Hmm, mm hmm. Storm beast all the way around here. Oh, this trap is something. Oh, the Ushigatana. Then, which is the only katana in the game that does not deal some sort of self damage, because the magic sword Makoto deals damage to you when you're holding it, and just constantly. And the actually, let's. Oh, come on, you. Where is? Okay, cool. It's just soul radio. Goodbye. Cool. And did you drop Cloudstone or something? I guess not. 
Let's actually use a heal. That... That was nice. But... The consumption, though... It's the thing. Short of Cloudstone, and that... That for... Is to be in the sky, and shields in particular. Shields capacity block magic. Okay, enjoy your food. I'll try to have fun. See you around. This is... Oh, we could just go down here. We have a trap ahead. I know that there are some illusory walls in this area, but... Thanks, and... Ah, okay, cool. Alright. That was all. There we are. First illusory wall in the game. And that dealt decent damage. The big question is, can I... To... No, actually, the... That's really good for taking out anything, really. So that just reinforces my hunch that I really should be saving cute foe ahead. Huh? Should be saving spells for boss battles and use this just to get through if I don't want to have to just use a bunch of spice. This is another always wrong. Oh, thanks. Cool. Die. Cool. And oh my goodness. Okay. One, two. Magic is just way too strong in this game. There's really no way around that. Okay, and then some other places. There was that fog wall. Oh, there was any other things here, but I, okay. One, two. Cool. Thanks. Good old bonking stick. Trusty quarterstaff. Okay, but the question is... You're over there, I... Hello there, hi. And... Bonk, bonk. Okay, cool. Compound, longbow, and light arrows. Is there a crystal lizard somewhere around here? Is that... Is there a way to get over there? Is it a World 10 event? I don't know. Well, we got rid of that guy at least, but... It feels like the kind of thing that would be World 10 Oh, well, I... Huh. Is this where the crow is? The hot girl? That is where the hot girl is. That means it's sparkly. <laughs> scary. Scary gifts. Sparkly, twinkly, me. Tray, tray, sparkly, twinkly. Twinkly stuff. We weave a talisman of God over here. And quit out. Because we don't need the talisman of God anymore. God, miracle, and that's just the same description as wooden. Drop the item, and cool. Then we can quit out, and we should be able to get a colorless demon soul in exchange. Needs an upgrade to our quarterstaff. And also, just... Oh, scary. Did I do that wrong? Where do you have to drop it? Uh, wait, what? Did I? Oh, I messed that up. Damn it. Okay. Let me see. God, demon souls, and that's in. Damn it. Kicking down the first bridge. Sparkly for. So, where do you drop it? Pick it back up. Likes the item, so. So, she didn't acknowledge it, presumably. We quit out too early. Stupid! Okay, whatever. Okay, cool. And examine the remains and sort of ephemeral eyes. Can we? Alright, and can I? Okay. Thanks. One, two, three. We got another from Valley, so. Not everything is lost, but still really infuriating. That's yeah, just. How close to the tree did it have to be? It's a thing, and I- well, alright. Thanks. One, two... Look on my shoe. Okay. Here, over that battlefield. Yeah, yeah, we've been here. Been to the top, I mean. Top part. And what would be over here, then? What would be this arrow trap? Cool, alright. Let's just not touch that, then. Copper key. Could be useful to free somebody. 
Copper key, simple copper key, make up some gold on it. I think this would lead to freeing Saint Urbain, maybe. I don't know. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. We're down through here somewhat. Not a place we've been yet. What is this then? It's a pit with somebody in there, presumably Saint Urbain. This is Beware the Formidable Foe Ahead. Oh, and this is... Oh, wow. Okay, I, let's just slam this down on you and... Oh, wow. Oh, this is the gold skeleton. That's right. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Woman grass and... Can we jump? Okay, cool. One, two, three. Dodge. And... Oh, actually... I feel like the second old Elder Monkeys were, if anything, a reference to this guy. Soul Remains, whatever. Soul Remains, yeah, I'll bet it does. Okay. Crescent Falcon plus one. Okay. Well, that... That's interesting. And that's where you can farm pure blade stone, if I recall correctly. Really lucky draw from that specific guy, but... Don't need that right now, all that much at least. And just cool. Cool. Oh, if you cling to the side, actually, it's fine. The question is. Oh, we're through here. Wait, where did this. Huh? Oh, there was a side. I didn't even see that. Okay. That's cool. Alright then. Hmm, but. Getting one talisman of God and trading it over there. Sake of this is Yeah, I think take off all of your armor and then roll. Wait. Take off all of your armor, roll over, or you can reach through there as a shortcut, but some indignity, frankly. Let's keep on going through here. So I can free Saint Urbane at least, and cool. Nice. Oh, does it... Do you have to undo the illusion every time? Oh, that's different. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it seems like it, at least. Huh. Here is... Something, or... Where is... Have I seen this yet, or... This is a... Drop... Oh, those... That's a vaultable. Oh, okay. I... interesting. Okay. Let's down back the other way where we came from. I don't want to go up yet. Okay. Two illusory walls, I believe, were all of them. Into that one area. Crescent moon grass and merchants. Merchant. And this is... Hi! Copper key to free Saint Urbain. Hi. Or is this... Wait. Oh, you saved me. Heavens, I can't believe I fell for that trap. I suppose I... Oh, this is, no, this is great one. Great one oblige. It's thanks. It's so good. Down anymore. these parts. Bye, and well, you're still spice for more. Don't really need any of this. Talk. Nothing suits you. A bit of it. Indulgence goes a long way. Oh. Master Ritual by Ancient Drive, one pair of genes put in war. They're like cells of shadow like. workers. Soul Strap humans. I guess. Hey, wait. Not finished yet, okay. So one does. I gotta get another Talisman of God from 5 1. Have to go there straight after this, honestly. So I can. Uh, okay. Okay. Straight to 5 1 and. Obtain what there is to obtain from that. Talisman of God trade it for another colorless demon soul. Which, but right, you can only do each trade once per playthrough, so I wouldn't be able to get any more from that than I have already. Thanks, and alright. One, two. Thank you. I know that one of them should be a shortcut of some sort. One, two. Don't have any melee capabilities either, it seems. The interesting part. It's not mantleable, it seems. Interesting. The storm beasts seem to be doing something to me. Okay. Cool, alright. One, two. 
three, and okay. Thanks, and okay. One, two. Okay. Shorter blade stone. And the adjudicator shield. What is my item burden at? It's not that bad. Adjudicator shield is what patches uses actually. It gives you HP restoration, which is pretty nice. The ladder over there is curious. The question is, what I'm gonna get from the valley as well. Oh well, this was all. Okay. It's all that was up. Oh, but there's also that. Okay. Left in grass. Who here is? What? Is that brick? Oh, there's a side back path. Safe place. Maybe, maybe not. Unknown hero soul. Question is. This is just the islands. Feels like the other parts of it might be some kind of spatial anomaly. It don't make much sense. Okay, for it to actually be accessible or anything at all, really. Femoral Eye Stone. I might want to... What should they weigh? Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. A little. Frankly, I don't need any of them if I'm just save scumming. A couple could be nice just in case I mess up my save scumming, but... As long as I'm save scumming, I shouldn't need them. That's the thing. Shortcut somewhere, so I... Two, three. Okay. Your soul. So basically, we're just cling to the side. You'll be alright. Then over here is renowned hero soul. Okay. And can we. Can't. Oh, we can map that. Fine. Yeah, I do prefer, honestly, the uh, soul they've had since of just actual jumps. Of various sorts instead of having to try to figure out what's mantle and what's not. The shortcut over there is oh interesting guy, okay. Where are the other storm beasts? That's magic damage, right? I think. Oh but that's not what I wanted to use with that. Okay, come on. Keep on walking, but can I how far? Oh not huh? Okay. How am I gonna kill the storm beasts? Come on, die. Oh, alright. Thanks. Cool. Cool. Okay. Thanks. And oh, interesting. You're, oh, never never mind. Okay, cool. Alright. Thanks. Cool. Funky. Funky. Not in a good way. Oh, but I, what? 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 Never mind. Never mind. It's probably in the middle of, the middle of a save. Okay. Cool. But, in the interest of not corrupting your data, presumably it would always have to, always not, you know, not delete the full data until, full data until the new save is entirely complete. At least that would be good design. It would be good design. I don't know if it, it is well designed. I hope it's well designed. Okay. I it's like how old here I'm probably going to the bathroom. Well, for one, second chance is really good. The weapon I'll get from that. Okay, we're alive, that's good. Where is okay, right here. That means gotta use our soul rays to take out all the storm beasts so they stick around. Where is where are you gonna be? Hmm, the big thing is, there's a skeleton over there that kind of jump-scared me. Oh, well, they're high. Actually, you know what? We'll just smack you. One, two, three. Yep, oh, so those are the truly gold skeletons. I thought the one from before with the twin swords might have been the gold and it would have just been kind of dull, but no. That's what they mean by a gold skeleton. Nice. Decent amount of souls from that, too. That's fun. Oh, but I, okay, cool, die, take you out. Well, that sounds tough to actually get though. It's a thing, and I one, two, three, cool. Thank you. Yeah, but they're entirely gold. But the silver skeletons are weaker to fire than 
magic. These are slightly weaker to magic than fire, and that fall would kill me, wouldn't it? I presume. The true demon soul starts here. Yeah, I bet. Thanks. One, two, three. Oh, because I guess all of those count as movement frames. That's fun. This is it. Oh. Oh. Okay. What is this then? You know that there should be a shortcut leading to Wait Moon Grass and Oh right, this is You take off all of your armor. And roll through that. Wait, wait, can I all armor and equipment? Or how do I? Let me just unequip, just check. All armor and equipment. If I take off everything, absolutely everything. Can I wait what? Supposed to be a shortcut, but Huh? Huh? I Maybe it's a one-way thing, but yeah, I, that was a fun idea. Not a good idea, but a fun idea. Okay, kite shield. Phosphorescent pull. Plus three, not plus four, because I'm stupid. And then... Mm -hmm. The crease blade. Cool. Alright, and then we put on our silver coronet. Fluted armor. Wizard's gloves, wizard shoes. Cool. We're basically right where we want to... Wait, no, actually. We're not where we want to be. Can't equip that. Okay. We're right where we want to be. Bare hands. Bare hands. What hero might be? Somewhere around here this is. Or a trap ahead. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks. Alright. Oh, that corridor would constrain me too much to even avoid that. Classic. It's over here. Just stuff on the scaffolding or find souls past here. Ah, okay. So down over here, item souls. Renowned hero soul. And then down here is. So can I mantle over or short of cloudstone? Okay, but I can't get back as easily as I might like. Oh wait, can I? Oh, never. Wait, what? Oh, this was just a drop off. Okay, but oh, I didn't see this. What is this? Huh. We mantled successfully. This is the regenerator's ring. Oh, that's cool. That's a really good item too, actually. Negates a certain amount of. Ah. Uh, we negate stuff like cursed weapon self damage, I think. So I might want to use that in that case. The thing is, it's got that item on top of there. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break after killing old hero, and then it would be the Valley of Defilement. Well, a bit more in here, but I'm gonna go to Valley of Defilement, get a talisman, and okay, couldn't mantle it, but Graves Robber's Ring, which makes it hard to get detected by black phantoms, I believe. And okay, that's not back yet. Good. And then, oh, there we have it. Old hero should be right through here. And another skeleton. Cool. Hello there. Hello. Just go use your thanks. One, two, three, and oh my goodness. Okay. All right then. Ooh, and wow. All right and okay. All right and one, two, three. Die. I could use some healing, but I just need some half moon grasses instead. The thing is, if I use the thief's ring, you wouldn't be able to. St it's totally blind, is the big thing. Which means that if you use thief's ring, you can't detect you as long as you're not too fast. So, use this. Try this out. Nice and slow, and. Oh no, this is the Adjudicator, right. Well, we can cheese this. Oh well, actually... Can I... Yeah! Ooh, break and stop. That's fun. Right, old heroes later, so... Use our magical sharpness ring, and cool. Ooh, alright, fun. Okay. Try to break some stuff down from under us, presumably, so... Oh, alright, thanks. And normally you'd attack his belly, but... This should work better, actually. Let's just see how much this does, and let's hear the waffle. Thanks, and ooh, alright, that did not quite work. 
I should probably use heal. Can't hit me here, I think, so... Well, that was a decent use of that, but... And so where are you? Okay, we should stay away. The big thing is, we can snipe your head. The one vulnerable point from the upper level, and... Can we hit you here, or... Come on, come on. Alright, cool. Keep on moving. Because normally you would attack a big thing stuck in its belly, but not like this. Not like this. And just hit the golden bird on top of it directly, because that's what actually controls it. And now we can do this, and one more will do it. We'll have killed Adjudicator, the swollen demon soul, which I think we'll actually want to use with make its butcher knife. There we are. What a joke. Okay, the demon was destroyed. You think? Okay. Quick bathroom break now. Cool. Fun. Go back with that talisman of God, frankly. Yeah. It breaks the upper levels when it does that, so... Oh, there's an item in there. It's a big old tongue, and... The big thing is that it's attacks on the ground for it would probably one-shot me. So I'm glad I didn't fight it fairly. Weakness is its side. Okay, cool. Sword Soldier Soul and the Swollen Demon Soul. Go back to the Nexus. Take a club with us, turn it into the Butcher Knife. So the question is, if we upgraded something as something heavier, you're no longer able to carry it. Would it be overloaded somehow, or... Let's take something. It's ether. This would actually let us use the... That sword. It's an idea. Well, it's also slashing, which isn't amazing as a damage type. The world be mended. What was that? Let's deposit some items. Let's deposit these. Those take this the cuage for severing heavy damage. An effect on armor and scales cause its targets to bleed. Kinda heavier than it looks. And it's a bleed. Easily nicked. Keep the S stock, don't need a longbow. Don't need that. Don't even really need that. Don't need much adjudicator shield, which does not wooden shield, the cease being judge, old script, eating of birds and not need the deeds of the hero of storms. The Adjudicator's Master, the Golden Crow, to see soul, not a pawn. Remember, bones remain, HP a little at a time. But, it's actually not as good as the Kite Shield. It's an idea, though. And we can just put these in. We'll make a huge difference, though. Chain of Ring, Unknown Origin. Green Jewel with a thick liquid inside. Funky. Let's take... Oh, and they're categorized. Take a club. We are indebted. Thank you. Go over to... Well, actually, presumably, I might want to go to Valley first in order to get that talisman. So I will be right back. BRB.
Okay. All right. Back. Keep on going. Let's see how this works. The big thing is, Archdown is cheap to always attack anyone who waters in the valley hoping to offer souls to the woman who showed compassion. Seeing points of those who have been thrown away. It's a bit like Gut White Town, but it's, really, it's, not, it's actually a bit more like the Gutter from Dark Souls 2. Hmm. Oh, okay. Valley of Defilement. Well, been, there we have it. Nothing here immediately. The big thing is we gotta. Oh, hello. Four royal lotuses. Got to grab one talisman of God and make sure he gets accepted by Hot Girl. So her name is not actually Sparkly. I know how they make you wait. Okay. Cool. Goodbye. Ooh, okay. And sometimes it just falls down. The thing is, there's supposed to be a bridge somewhere that I can get across. Drop down and get a talisman of God from. So I've been told. The thing is, we do need to get that one poison cure miracle. Will we actually really try to go through here? Otherwise, I'm gonna be in a bad state. Two so, and. Ooh, did that work? Did that work? I honestly can't tell. Okay, whatever. Anything else over here, or. Not that I see. Sure, we don't fall to our immediate deaths. And we of defilement. And hmm. As the gutter was explicitly described as a sanctuary for the lost and thrown away. Hello, hello, and oh my goodness! All right, so we don't have any poison build up there. It's tough. Oh, dark moon grass. So valley defilement, I suppose, is just. The one where valuable things are. See all these slaughtered royal soldiers and all. It's kind of crazy. So they really were just trying to offer sacrifices then. It's wild. Should be a talisman of God somewhere. Which maybe, presumably, was what Astraya left behind. It's certainly possible. Oh, and okay, you don't have any ladder kick attacks like you did in Dark Souls. That was a later addition, presumably. And oh, okay. Alright. Should use this for a bit of healing then. Okay. Generate a bit. And is this. This is not anything, not anybody. What it seems to me. And what's up here? What's up here? This was... Is this where I was going to drop down, or what? I don't think. Uh, I didn't get to see that, so we got to go up the ladder again. By the way, we should drop a bridge down and get a shortcut, presumably, so... Honestly, I might kill Reachmonger here. It wouldn't be horrible to do, I think. Just get that done sooner than later. Not a hard boss, and I'm already here. So, oh, Morningstar. So yeah, very squaric items, and I- ooh, I almost fell to my death. Okay. Almost. The important thing is that it didn't happen. Oh, but I- ooh, okay, that's clearly a- I think that's how that bridge works. Okay, one, two, and can I- thank you. So many of these depraved ones, I believe they're called. And, oh, another, another, thanks. Two, where is the bridge I wanted to drop down? Is this it, or... I think it might be. Looks kind of like it. That should be my talisman, I think. Do this. And operate. Kick the bridge down. Cool. This is... Talisman have gotten two Widow's Lotuses. Okay, cool. Then, in that case... Simply... A known hero soul. Okay, and... Well, ooh, well, I... Wait, what? Oh, it was barely missing due to the range on that. That was annoying. Okay, cool. Alright. 
Huh, okay. Let me just keep on going down through here. Anybody else or what? Hmm. Behind you. Anybody? Oh, that guy must have been chasing you normally, but I mean, got that done already. Reach on, that's useful. The thing is, oh, where did you come from? The big thing is that the Isterel is a weapon that should come up. A ladder will appear only in pure white world density, and it's basically a faith version of this weapon. Kind of, kind of. I think we can use it for poison resistance at least. Be good even if I'm not using it for its weapons properties. Oh wow, okay. One, two. Just have to go back through here. Assuming grass and here's somebody else coming. Don't like that sound. And we got stuff down there. Traps ahead. Zoom away. Fall through, yep. Yeah. Didn't want that to happen. So anything up here or I guess not. Oh, hello. One, two, sub, you can see my climb. Okay. Presumably some of you are going up the ladder? Or, oh, I guess enemies and demon souls can't climb ladders. Okay. That makes sense. Somewhat. Okay, well, so the question is how do I get to them then? Presumably a fireball or even just a soul ray should be more than enough to take them out, but we have to be in the right position. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thanks. There we are. There we are. Doing this so we don't get crowded at the bottom of the ladder. Thank you. Oh, but... Uh, come on, come on. And that one be a good chance to use fireball, presumably, because I think they would be weaker to fire. Okay, die. Die. There we go. Okay, cool. Goodbye. Let's drop down over here and not get killed. This is... Okay, so I can get the spot I would have got to by dropping just by going down, so there's nothing lost by being more cautious. Grass, black turpentine, black turpentine. Oh, and that's stronger than normal turpentine. I wonder if it weighs anymore. Don't think it does. Black pine tree, red hemlock covered in fire, much stronger, does not last as long. Cannot be applied to wooden weapons. Well, that's fun as a detail. I guess the question is, I dropped off of here. Dropped off of here. What would I get? Would I be able to come back or what? Let's go through here, thank you. Alright then. Take this. Royal Lotus. Hmm. Keep on going, keep on going, and let's see. But that drop down off the sort of walk the plank type area. That's something I need to pay attention to. Short of faint stone, and is this? Oh, the, you were sleeping here. That's funny but sad. Okay. This is unknown hero's soul. Should have checked, honestly. And then, and then, and then. Who else and where? Yeah, I could have dropped down over here, but what would I have gotten? Hidden foe eyes and wait ahead. Huh. What foe is that? Oh, okay, you. You. Oh, well, they're high. These giant bugs. 168. Oh, interesting. All well, that blood bursts, and... I wonder if that would poison me normally. I don't know. Okay. Goes down to and it's kind of like a hand, but don't think it is. Short of marrow stone, oh for bleed. So would it do bleed build up then? Or what? Hi, hello, and Ooh, alright. One, two. Let's do a quick heal. Okay. Things have gotten very, very good. <laughs> I'm in a very capable position now. What's interesting is that you get if you get two saints. Oh, so that would be Astraya's stuff, presumably. Big thing is that if you somehow manage to get two oh in the middle of a jump, I guess. Two phosphorescent poles, you can actually stack their regen. 
but only if they're not at the same upgrade level. Most you can get is basically 1.5 mana regen per second, as in max level on one for one mana one second and level four on the other for one mana every two seconds, but... Won't ah. you buy something? My poor child is hungry. Oh, look. Healthy woman. That's some interesting sounds. Oh, and you can sell Talisman of God. Okay. Rotten Arrow for Septic. Arrows raised for Rot Off, but when arrows equipped, Soldiers of the Church. Such attacks impedes regeneration. Which send you to Twimmon? Maybe would that be Astraya or. Oh, or maybe they're talking about Please, the Maiden. You don't deserve this place. Sends on a diet of souls. A lotus would it never be too high. How Here's a straw. Oh, a straw. Squid headed. Squid headed knight. Girl of Inland. Yes, yes, it's true. Good message that comes. Demon to boot doesn't surprise me. In order the fr Okay. And she's a demon? Let me see. Filthy woman, filthy man. And ridiculous white robe is going at my son in disgust. Curses awaited that witch. Goodness. I wouldn't say so. I plan to get rid of her myself. The question is, all these rats. Oh, and they're tiny rats, too. The question is, how would. Okay. Alright. Lots and lots of rats. Oh, rats. Plus, it moon grass. Going around the other way, then, would. Or really that would lead to. And, ooh, rocks getting dropped. Classic. Who is that over there? I? Giant defiled one? Ah, uh, this is fireball time. Time for a fireball and ooh, alright. Cool. And just ooh, okay then. Giant, giant, and we got some air we on that. Zeus. Ooh, alright. Well you'll come over here, so don't need to rush. Let's get some quick healing, see what that is over there. Okay, cool. Using this and then using a magic effectively as well. Good idea. And over that way is... Can I even get to that or... How would I even... Confuse now. Oh, probably over up in this way. Okay. And oh, there you are. One, two... Just killing all these poor guys. Okay, and ooh, alright. Over there, so. Ooh, alright. One, two. Should have attacked from outside. Thanks. The poke is quicker than other attacks, though. Big thing is finding a way to get inside. Okay. And oh, these leeches are funky, and ooh, I'm poisoned already. Alright. Use a royal lotus. Alright. And what if I? All right, oh, and we're poisoned again. I don't know it was different. Okay. All right then. Hmm. Let's use our healing. Then that guy over there is the kind of guy we should be able to get with just smacks. And you're interested. One, two, three, one more. Okay, yeah. Thought I'd been a black phantom, but that doesn't mean all that much. Okay, cool. Alright. Then. Okay. So bursting you is actually not bad at all. Not tough. Sort of marrow stone. Check that out. That, that is light. Very thin and sharp. There's now spear, critical strikes, or like forms of minerals and human blood. That's what would come from. That tick then. Okay, but that over there, I... Get up top over that way is... I don't think I can even get there. Okay. One, two. How much more is... Oh, a giant depraved one. Okay, this is... Time to just toss fireballs at you. And then maybe just one more. Hit. Yeah. Okay, cool. Don't waste too much. Then we can... Hmm. It's down here. All these leeches are... It's probably the influence of the leechmonger. I would expect. 
Is that actually where the Leechmonger is? I... Yeah, I think. Or the floor ahead. Full moon grass. And then... So before all that, I'm gonna go back. Spot from before. Use up all my time before I go kill Leechmonger. Wait for all this to regenerate, because the stuff I'm fighting is not going to require. Presumably actually using spells. And just use. Have right now without really worrying, but... To get up top over there is... Interesting. I'm curious. Oh, and there was another bridge down there. Okay, so that... That's another shortcut on that bridge. Oh, cool. So then, in that case... Suppose we just go back. And I... We have to mantle that. To mantle all of these. Okay. It is a cool mechanic, but it's just... Poorly explained, if at all. What well, isn't explained, which is the issue. And it's not immediately intuitive, I would say. You wouldn't always think you'd be able to do that, but get over there on top of that is. Well, I did go up, right? It's that other bridge and the other bridge up top, so there are multiple. It's that one bridge, but oh, that might be the Istarel. Let me think. Yeah, especially since it would prevent you from getting hit by the rocks. So I... Let me see. Up to and cross a bridge. Istoral. Cholwoot. That's not quite it. Okay. And the filthy woman. Go down, you go over there. and Okay, that's where that wall would be. Estorel over there is not quite. Still, I think, yeah, that would definitely be the way to. Up top, I think. Presumably. Maybe. Well, whatever. Okay. I will simply continue on my path. And where did I have to drop down again? Drop down right there. Okay. Another mantle. Yeah. It's just, the big thing is, is, it'd be one thing if it were kind of exploration-oriented mechanic where just certain areas could be, you know, the question is whether it would be a, oh, and we land in here, and there we are, nice, so we could just get out immediately, and, oh, okay, thanks, all right, all right. oh, and a throwing knife, I didn't want a throwing knife, don't want any throwing knives, all right, cool, what's on you? Got more grass, ephemeral eye stone, and another ephemeral eye stone. Wow. Reward our drop of faith. Sword soldier soul, and let me see. Sword soldier soul, and oh, there you are. One, two. Then use this to get over to the other side. Someone's coming, and it's you. You're coming. Two, thank you. Cool. All right, not gonna sacrifice me. Question is, is this? Well, just someone who got killed, I guess. And then we need to one, two, and yeah. But we poke from far away. We can avoid getting poisoned. That's nice. A blessed mace, which I believe that would have slow HP regeneration. Let me see. Morning star, soldiers of the church, blunt weapons, and bleeding from the spikes. An excellent weapon. Weapons, shield, defense, direct hit, more damage than normal. Direct hit. Hmm. Which presumably would be a sweet spot. Also, there should be some healing now. Scales with faith. It is interesting that magic damage... Well, it's actually, it makes perfect sense because there's no difference in demon souls between the god that the church worships and the old one. Which is why they're isn't any kind of special holy damage. It's just another way of dealing magic damage, another source. It's not different in any meaningful way. Which monger should be close. We hear and oh, is this already the Oh, okay. So is are we already in the arena or I don't think. Well whatever. 
Hi, Weechmonger. I can just kill you then. This row would be nice. Watch the floor. Oh? Some funky sounds. So presumably I should focus on just tossing stuff down on you. Let's see. And how close do I need to get? This is vile. Actually vile. And, okay. Can't really hit me, either. Okay, cool. And just dodge, dodge. Okay, alright. Gotta wait for another one to come back. Now for two more fireballs. Yeah, I... This may be a little... A little bit trivializing the fight. But, oh, you... Oh. You actually regenerate all your health. Okay. Well, that's something. Maybe I shouldn't have done it like that. Maybe I shouldn't have done it like that. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Alright then. Alright then. Uh huh. Alright. And I can't weave, so... You know, it would take about a couple minutes to regain all my mana. Big thing is that I prefer to have the uh, fresh splice. Oh, that's equipped actually, so be a couple more casts. Well, got some oatmeal muffins to eat. Just let my HP tick back up. I mean my MP tick back up. And kill that thing. Okay. The healing is definitely the part I did not expect. Okay. Hmm. One valley of defilement. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Because so there'd be a ladder up there. By that giant first giant depraved one only in pure white world tendency. Hmm. Alright. Alright then. Hmm. Alley of Defilement. Demon souls. I mean, we'll be fine. The uh, seems one poison swamp too. Hmm. Actually, there are two. Oh, all right. Girl, Vinland is weak to fire be able to use that on him. Everything in here is weak to fire. Everything. Mm. Well. Okay. Wait a little while longer. This isn't much fun, but... Yeah, not knowing about that health regen certainly did something to me. Okay. Well. Should back up to full, just stand on the edge and toss more fire at it. Okay. Well, actually, I'm gonna have to kill the ore eventually and then I'll be able to get it set anyway. Okay. Okay. Getting closer. This may be the longest a leech monk fight in human history. Or demon history. Hmm. Pull really is great though. It really is just amazing. Hmm. Okay. 
I do find it kind of refreshing, honestly, how constrained the spells are in Demon Souls compared to a lot of other Souls games. There isn't a lot that's really out there, so to speak. You have a fireball, which is quite cool, but it's nothing entirely out of the ordinary. Previously thing would be Firestorm, which, well, hmm. Soul Ray is kind of like a Soul Spear, but it's not nearly as big or impressive looking. Just a beam as opposed to a bolt. So good though. Okay. There we are. We've got that back and there's our fireball tossing spot. Thanks. Cool. Alright. Stay still, which is nice. And okay. Cool. Go up to the very edge. And I'm tossing, keep on tossing. Cool. Alright. Thanks. These are fresh spikes, and cool. Nice tossing. Oh, alright. We're alive. We'll wear this. And that should be all. Thank you. Easy enough. Reach Monger's trophy. I don't really feel like I earned that. Well, oh, whatever. It's really funny because you're just supposed to have to go down this huge spiral while it shoots at you. But you don't have to play chase at all if you just stand up there and rain fire from above. If it works, it works. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Decent amount of items down at the bottom. Which is nice. Let's just see. All this sweet, sweet loot. Great club. Is this something I'm break? Yeah. Plus something behind it. Shard of Sucker Stone. What are they calling me? That Vampiric Kurpsor's Katana Salon. Strong bloodletting effect. Goes to a critical effect. Faint Stone. Crescent Moon Grass. And Crescent Moon Grass. Crescent Moon Grass. More grass is always good. Crescent Moon Grass. Crescent Moon Grass. Crescent Moon Grass, but more that time. Crescent Moon Grass and... Chunk of Faint Stone. Okay. Cool. Four got... yeah. Really? Okay. Cool. A wriggling demon soul. Okay. Oh, but I have to free St. Urbane to get special miracles from souls anyway. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Is let's get a level right now. I said she's right by. Let's do this. Soul of the mind. A bit more equip burden. Drawn from its vessel. Drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so okay, cool. Thank you. Strength, health, will be mended. And can we equip anything different than what we had before, or... 47, and how much do the gloves weigh? We are right at half. And being half is enough. It's no problem, so... That Talisman of God, let's put some stuff away and get our gold mask back out, trade for two color with the demon souls. Hello, I can, I'm keeping... Deposit. Deposit all of these. Thank you. Cold Holy Ore. Slow regenerate HP up to a maximum level of five. Then... Oh, but right, we were gonna... Wait until we got the demon souls first, but we were going to go and... Send some things. I'm gonna take. Let's take the 
gold mask. We can't even wear the thing. You have a hat. Thank you. The acolyte of God, I believe. Have you heard? If you are attacked, is your What would happen? That cannot fathom. Ooh, Mbasa. My grand. Usual taste. Still being mine. Rocks all shaking sides. It's no value. Miracle stone shards. Not from God. The pure faint stone, I think. But a monk could think. Okay, if we rescue Saint Urban before we get 20 faith, which we will. I uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I've not. I have some. There's just new stuff. Hmm. Stone and oh, a cat's ring. Well, from falls, high places, who high perch, die in the hey, usual way. To? Goodness, get eaten by wolves. And yep, can't do that. Too broken. Over over here and make sure it works. Seals of the hero by the adjudicator. Shadow and shrine be purified and mourned in the storm. Hmm. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna. Move on. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Here you are. We just got to go back to the tree. Come on, two. Thank you. Goodbye. This amount of soul drops are actually for a relatively easy enemy. Oh, but a black phantom one? Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. Oh, but I... Right, you... Okay. And no, that really sucked. And I... Mm -hmm. Fireball on you, and... Good enough. Okay. Use a heal. Okay. That's good. The blade stone. I just love my big whacking stick. It is... That's a fun and silly weapon. One, two, we just gotta space ourselves right. One, two, and ooh, okay, all right. Two, and ooh, but didn't quite hit, actually. Now you're coming. Thanks, one, two. Oh, what, never mind. It's so fast, too, which is the best part. Okay. Thing is, we gotta go back to that tree. Gotta figure out how to do that again. After that's all said and done, we can survive. I think it was through here, maybe. Oh, thanks for needling me. I needed that. I needled that. Here we are. Cool. And, oh, well, whatever. Die. Die, die, die. Oh, well, all right. Thanks. Cool. And die. Okay. Cool. Should cast that two times. Yeah, I think I will. Just in case. Okay. Hmm. That hammer from the adjudicator, but through here? No, not through there. Not through here. Not that, not that. Okay, any more or can I Yeah, okay, cool. Oh please. You dead? Yeah, you're dead. And one, two, three. Corpse, void stone, and just gotta get to hot girl. And oh, okay. One, two. Should be over this way. Wanna make sure that she recognizes what we're dropping. If she doesn't say anything, then no dice. You Give spot me, give me. Trained. Let's drop that talisman. Spock. Ah, this bot. So the the bot scene actually marked it. Fine. Okay, but we should do that again. I was just doing that to test. Drop. Okay. Thanks. Now we can come back. Try with a gold mask and another colorless demon soul. Couple of upgrades at Ed. I. Hmm. The butcher knife is going to be our tool for killing NPCs. There we go. Happy, more trade, more trade. Sparkly trickling. Over here on the right side, basically, seems to be the spot. Drop that. 
head. Oh, she did not notice. It means that we have to do it in a weirdly specific position, I think. There we are. Okay, cool. Log back in and... Thanks. Got to do that again. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Just gotta... Take that and we have what we need now. Thanks. And let's just use... That. Use that. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Alright. Go back to Ed and use our things. The Burrow King. Go to Ed. It's interesting that he doesn't move to the Nexus. That the relationship between him and Goldwyn is presumably fraught, but not something we're ever really privy to. There we go. Presumably we could have lived the fall anyway. I don't know. Oh. If it be a black. Upgrade. Or pull. Cool. Nice. And there we go. And now it's maxed out. You get the meek we were using the swollen demon soul, which is going to be an exceptionally strong weapon. Has a lot of really crazy scaling. I think it'll do that. Okay. Here we are. All done. I work alone. We have enough strength to wield it now. We need it precisely 18, more or less. I wanna see. Let's try this out and weight's high. Effectively, if you wield it in both hands. And ooh, equip burden's quite high right now. And that is actually technically a hammer. 254, which is nice. Hmm. Well, this will be relevant later. Not using this thing right now. Now we're sticking with the pull, which is. Scaling's gotten a little bit better, but the damage itself is not increased much. The base damage is most of what you're getting out of it to begin with. Hmm. Okay. Frankly, I think I'll put that cleaver away. Hello again. I'm keeping. Okay. Good thing, but it's real heavy. You have a. Thank you. Thank you. Go over to Adjudicator's Archstone. Here we are. So they hear about the Adjudicator taking the Shadowman's Shrine, pure blood, and mourn in the storm. All right. Hmm. Okay then. Keep on going over here. So this is farther down on the island, I presume. Mm hmm. Hello. Hi. Oh, but that isn't quite working. Oh, but I. Come on. Mmm. The seeking isn't all that good. Please, please. Here at least, though, my mana regeneration is really great. Honestly, a little too, smart, a little too strong, frankly. Maybe. Oh, and there's a colorless demon soul. Alright, then. So, I think... Emerald Eyes. I should put some of those away. Oh, come on. Alright. Die, and we got the tail, which was nice. Oh, those give a lot more. Okay, whatever. Come on. Weird. Homie's tough. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me... Come on, come on. I right, okay. Don't want to try to snipe them, but might have to. I mean, in the end, I don't have to kill these guys anyway. 
whatever. Wasted a bit on that. So what remains, and this is. Oh, friend was in wait. Hello there. We meet again. Why? It's an adventure. Somebody, no, it's some decent call patches of hyena. The hyena. Trap for me. He's the kind of person who mother in the back. Mother in the back. If you have to spot him, out of his misery. If you've been to the altar where sorcerers summon shadows, oh. well, I think someone may be. Well, that'll be praying for your life, strength, or vain. Just old tricks. Pity the poor. Okay. Anything new or a kunai? From fantasy Japan, dipped in poison, throw it to attack. Torque means suit and daggers nine, slow regenerate MP. Hmm. Wildstone. Each one kind of has their own. Well, we'll be okay. Hmm. So yourself, a bit of indulgence goes a long way. Flame weapons on the next enemy. Right, the Reaper in there with its own special cutscene. Dies pretty quick to a single fireball, I presume. Good old magic. All those shadow men. Interesting. The thing is, if we... Let's toss this down on you, we can immediately. Oh, come on. I... Oh, right. I messed that up. Oh, what? Never mind. Okay. Interesting. Big thing is, frankly, I wasn't able to get in like I expected. Hmm. Oh, come on. Okay. Thought I'd be able to hit from above, but it doesn't seem like I even can. Not to my knowledge. Hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. So to get that Reaper does a lot of damage, though, to be fair, I think. That Ring of Magical Sharpness might be doing more harm than good here. Hmm. I've got a lot of Crescent and Grass right now. Okay. Might make the difference between life and death. Cool, cool. How do I want to deal with that guy then? I can't even target the Reaper. Souls past here. Let me just see if I can. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just try to get you and. Alright, yeah, cool. Yeah, simple. Now they're all gone. Mostly. Yeah! Okay, cool. Bye. That was sad, actually. I feel bad about that. Oh, well. Well, you know, easy is as easy does. Or I could use the kunai to maybe poison it. It might be immune to poison. If it's a reaper or an embodiment of death, it presumably might be immune to poison. Oh, these skeletons stuck in the walls. Oh, funny. That over there. Is that a World Tendency event, or what? To get up top over there. Presumably we just have to go around. On the other side, maybe? Maybe. The switch over there is also funky. Let's see where we can get to. Unknown Soldier's Soul and Augites. Guidance. Oh, there is Patches. Okay, and... Oh, right, so he just kicks us in. I didn't even get a chance to talk to you. Well, I... Okay, let's actually... I want to see that dialogue. Okay. Assume we won't have saved yet. And we're, we're gonna let him kick us in. Just, he needs to take his time. He needs to slow his roll a little. Just a little. Okay. Cool. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. For this, the only thing is left would be... Stry, and then the end of Boletari, and then that. Then the joke of a final boss. Mm -hmm. Where are we now? Over there, and... There's Patches, but we should avoid him for now. Just for now. That presumably would open that door up, but... Oh, phosphorescent water. 
shard of dark moonstone. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. Hey, don't try to. I mean, if you roll, better things to fret about. Treasure can't get to it myself. With gone. Than I've ever dreamed of. It's gonna kick me in. What's keep? Have a look there. Down the pit to fish it out. Have a look at that treasure down in the pit. Then we'll work out a way to fish it out. <laughs> well, okay. Presumably there's no real way to get down there other than that one switch, but I go up here first, and I think this might open one of the doors. We'll see. Hmm. And hidden passage ahead. Oh, hello. And that's presumably down in the pit, maybe? The urbane or oh interesting. One, two, three. And dodge. Okay, cool. One, two. Interesting. That's kind of tough. Let's try to... Okay, the fire really, really works wonders there. Try to blade stone. Crystal wizard lies in wait ahead. Oh, and also the primeval demon. Can I... Soul ray on you, or... There we are. Cool. That's an okay amount of souls. Sword, soldier, soul. An evil demon, among other things. Then, who is shooting at me? And from where? Well, whatever. I'll live. Then we got another primeval demon. A bit of extra strength. And oh, hello. Hi there. And oh, you're just gonna go through there, aren't you? Okay. Alright. Fall down, die. You won't give me your drops, will you? Another colorless demon soul. Very weak to magic damage. Interesting. I guess representing the power of the old one over it? Maybe. Playable weapon past here, but... And what would it be? What is this going to be? Is the white bow and white arrow. Oh, and this just loops back around. Okay, cool. That is... I believe that's Uran's bow. That one night. Hmm. And oh, we mentioned patches. Okay. Hey, wait. But yeah, that would be Urbane. So Saint Urbane, the Urbane person, presumably. Then, uh, let's go up over here and right. There's a switch behind that. Reaper's still dead. Switch over here and what will open? Okay, this probably will never open, I presume, but. And then, what, what will open now? That over there, which presumably would have the way to the old hero? I guess then, yeah, that the Reaper was kind of a mini boss fight. Close as you get to one. Gotta go down that hole. Well, eventually, I just want to see what that other door does. This switch. Femoral eyes. Oh, fun. That's just an arrow trap. Classic. Classic. Okay. Guess we can maybe... We gotta let Patches kick us eventually, but... Let's see what happens if we open this. How far we can get before. And oh, lots of dead storm beasts. Some environmental storytelling. Did they kill the or did they just wait here or my heart's breaking? Poor manta rays. Not really, I hate him. Oh, and then down there, presumably the altar of the storm. But the big thing is just how absurdly high we got up here. That's what's really crazy to me. How high we were able to get. And who is shooting at me from where? Let's see anyone who could be targeting me at the moment. Well, whatever. I'm gonna- wait, what? Oh, okay, that's really annoying. I'm just gonna have to heal up. Okay, do that again. And if- the big thing is, I want to get to- see if I can approach from behind and trick Patches again by not falling for his tricks. Hmm. Go down this way, I think. 
put us in a good position. And one, two, and oh, well, you roll off the edge, I guess. One, oh, fine by me. Yeah, just go ahead. Keep on rolling. Sure, it'll deal you lots of good. Got a lot stronger. So one wonder why I'm the exterior. Oh, they're down on those rocks. That unreachable terrain. And, oh, okay, cool. But I can't even can try, but... Well, I, yep, I can't hit there. And I think that would be final arena? The final area? I think. And there they are. We're finally here, performing for you. Know the words you can join in to. And, okay, nice. Just through both with our soul rays, and there we are. Classic. Short of blade zone. Short of blade zone. Gold skeleton. What an interesting concept. Honestly. This is. Not the old hero. Good guy. Okay. It's gonna be the pit with. St. Urbane in it, or what? I hear something. I don't like what I'm hearing. I'm worried. The enemy's ranged attacks and- Oh, you're- Wait, what? What? Okay. Never mind. Okay. Cool. So that's a Reaper, presumably. Hmm. So if I just immediately used fire, I would have been okay. But I didn't. It's interesting how fast a fall death actually reloads things. I wouldn't have expected that. Okay. Hmm. There are little tendency events, but other than that, not much left. The big thing is just phosphorescent pull kind of fell off. Its damage is not. Its skills kinda. It doesn't really scale all that much. Mm -mm. This would be a time to heal. Got our fireballs up, and how much do we have? We have enough, pretty much, almost exactly for two fireballs, so... Oh, they're high, and oh, I, okay, you got a beam attack. I, okay. Weird. Not expecting that. I, okay, thanks. So where's the Reaper? Where's the Reaper in here? There's gotta be one, right? Dark Moonstone. Maybe those guys are just independent. I don't really. Not that hard to believe, though. I, okay, and. Cool. Oh, you just kind of stay still. Oh, but you. Oh, wow, okay. Interesting. You're weird. Okay, and just. Another way. Attack very slowly, and that attack reminds me of. Actually, the golems from. Dark Souls, a little. I, you are fire fodder. And dog, uh, oh, okay, cool, thanks. And all right, I gotta run in basically, and just avoid your, wait, what? Never mind. you're weird. You're really weird, let me see. Demon Souls Shadow Men. Shadow men enemies. Let me see. Shadow man. Control path. Shadow. Shadow lurker. They are very resistant to magic, weakest to all physical damage types. Okay. Interesting. All right then. Okay. Hmm. All right. Question is what I'm going to use, because I'm probably just going to use the pole then. Just getting close and bonk them, because I don't really have any other tool to use. I haven't upgraded any actual normal weapons yet, because. Well, Blue Blood Sword would be good, but. Blue Blood Sword would be okay. But I would have to go and kill a Strion. I guess I'm doing Storm King first? I guess I'm doing Storm King first? I guess. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. Alright. Okay, they don't really sweep the beam. They do a little, but not that much. Okay. Cool, and... Alright. One, two, three. Okay. 
Very strange. Honestly, as cool as heal is, I'm better off just using grass. Okay, alright. And that actually did not hit me. That's funny. Well, I'm not complaining, but it's surprising to me. And, or, ooh! Weird hug attack, and you're very, very shadow man and thanks cool one two three and i think somebody else is coming i don't like that at least they drop souls but is there a reaper somewhere or what and oh there you are oh wow okay cool all right all right then thanks so presumably everyone should be gone once i do that and cool thanks and oh well i I set up a little, and what is that? Oh, you're out of the spawning pool, basically, and okay, well, now you're all dead. Presumably. Yeah, alright. Evil summoner moment. Okay. There's a bit more grass, but I- Ooh, what was that? Okay. What is- what are you even- okay? Weird. Not expecting you to be able to do that. Presumably that might be the woman one? I don't know. Full moon grass and... Fireball for sure. Okay. Figure out who's summoning the other ones. Dark Moonstone and... You are funky. Dagger and just... One. Oh, you're actually... Decently easy to stun lock. So the man ones are... Almost immune to stagger, but you are definitely not. Okay. Keep going down and find our way to the other Reaper somehow. The damage that their magic missiles do is actually kind of crazy. Oh, whatever. I'll live. Maybe. Maybe not. And I see you. Oh, but I. Okay. Cool. One, two. Thanks. And wait, what? What? No, no, no. Okay. How is there another one in there? What? Really? Okay. Cool. I need to not die here. Thanks. Okay. One, two, and dodge. Okay. One, two, or die. Okay. And another, or another, sure. Where are they coming from? That's the real question. Is it moon grass? And then we can go through here. And find our way out to the... Oh! Oh, okay. Great. Okay. One moving ant. Another storm beast. That's just great. Okay. Can I actually hit you from here? And I really don't think I can. Okay. Great. Such good news. I... Okay. And, wait, what? Never mind. I'm... Okay. Alright. Healing stat. Where are you in here? I can just hit you with a bunch of soul rays. We'll be all right. How did you... I couldn't even see you. That makes no sense. Thanks. Oh, what? What? Okay. Huh. Are you immune to stagger, basically? One, two. You're harder to stagger for sure, but not the same as immune, but... Okay, cool. And can I... One... Ooh, okay. Dodge. Okay, and... One, two. Ah. Uh, slam. All right. Sort of blade zone. Half moon, and we don't need any of these. We need just other kinds of grass. A decent amount of dark moon grass, actually, which is interesting. Okay, then. Okay. Use what we have. Thanks. Thank you. And alright. Thanks. And. Ooh! I, all right. That was really dumb. Okay. The big thing is, I really need to just were it inside where I don't have to worry about interference. So even with Soul Ray, which is really long range too, I just can't guarantee actually sniping those things out of the sky. Maybe if I tried using a bow would actually probably work wonders. So I could actually aim. That is kind of the one advantage that a bow actually has over just carrying a bunch of projectile spells. The fact that it can actually aim and spells largely cannot. <laughs> okay. Almost done. One loading area. Okay. 
So let's just try that again. And that all over again. And there you are. Our Mr. Skeleton. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Let's try to not get noticed too much. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Thanks. Amazing. I love you. I don't love you. Okay. And I, all right, all right, this is bad. Really, really bad. Okay. Get in through here. Get in through here. Please. I know you're gonna kind of, just kind of quip in weirdly. Okay. Cool. Heal. Heal. Okay, that should be good for now. Should avoid stone and let's keep on going. Keep on going. And down there is only certain death and Oh, that's wait, what? Huh? Okay. Stupid. Okay. I just well, you know. This could be much better. Getting slaughtered by. And the worst part is, is that I'm in body form. Part of the reason I've been save scouting is that I don't have to be at half health and soul form, but it's just. This game would go so much longer if I was not save scouting. Not only just because it means I don't have to go back and fight everything again, but just because I don't have to worry about body form versus soul form. Okay. Alright. Here's that weight moon grass. That might have been excessive. Well, whatever. We're just gonna use fireballs on that guy. I'm closer and closer to the bottom over here. That's fun. Not really. It's interesting. And, oh, well, I, all right. That's fun too. Okay. So, it's overhead double swing is instant death. That's good to know. Okay. Cheaters prosper. Cheaters often prosper. Okay. Yeah, once slightly strengthened crease blade would be really, really strong too. The regen is really great, but more damage from that crease blade would be amazing as well. I wonder how much easier Man Eater would have been if I'd done this. Well, whatever. Cool, that's good enough. That'll wear that guy over here. And probably just wear him down with hits. Hello, hello. Follow me, follow me. Thanks. Just keep on following me. Going pretty slowly though. That's whatever. But it's just, every now and then you decide to actually do something. But it's so idiosyncratic. I can't guarantee a single thing out of you. Okay, just take your time, take your time. Oh my lord, oh god. Come on, come on. Be here shortly and then. Toss a few fireballs in here with this. Oh my goodness, you are swarming me. Okay, cool. And, alright. And, alright then. Okay. Thanks. We need a bit more in the way of MP. Not more, but just need to wait about 16 more seconds. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay, cool. Nice. One more, one more. Goodbye, goodbye, Black Phantom Skeleton. Okay. Cool. Short of Blade Stone. Cool. Dropping a lot. Honestly, that's the crazy thing. So let's just go over here. I wonder if I presume the Black Phantom using Storm Ruler in the final spot would actually be able to use its special effect too. Let's see why it wouldn't. Oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. One. 
Alright. Funny hug attack. One, two. Oh, you're weaker. Huh, okay. Where is the enemy's reinforcements from that pool of phosphorescent water? I need to... Okay, and... Ooh, okay, alright. Oh, wow, I hated that. I really hated that. Okay. Alright. It's just... If I were doing this normally, it would legitimately actually have to run back every time I died. It would probably be one of the harder ones to do this equal stats running. It's vile. Okay, but Reaper's right there. But that was a really dirty trick, just... <laughs> Enemy beams you for massive damage, but if you run in, you just... Well, good freaking luck. And where was... Right. Enemy beams you for massive damage, but if you run in, you're gonna get slammed. Yeah. By that Reaper. So it's very much a sort of... Is there even a good option? Even a good option, or just a less bad option? On to... The dodge! Okay, alright. Kill. Thanks. Cause, yeah, we got... How much MP do we have? 49. Alright. Probably run in and take out that Reaper. Thanks, thanks, and thanks. Thanks, and just... Well, we can try to survive and... Okay. Fail utterly, completely. Now, the nice thing is that the Reaper is at a spot I can actually deal with. One... Two... And wait, okay, now that Reaper's dead, which means the Shadow Man should disappear. There we are. It only took forever. Okay. That, okay. Short of Dark Moonstone. And what else? What else is down here? Very bottom, what would I find? I think it is, I don't want to run into Old Hero right now. Tized in the fluorescent water. Found my way out of the St. Urbane pit. So I gotta go back. Don't stop. What is... Oh, this phosphorescent pond and... What are the... Okay. Interesting. Sticky white stuff in there, but... I... I worry about this sometimes. But... I don't know, interesting, but I... Ooh, alright. Magic damage on the... Hmm. That's... A little bit of a problem. Okay. Uh, it's not like we're taking damage at least. Presume though that sucker stone from them. That those magic orbs would deal pretty sizable damage to me. And that's a pretty safe presumption. Got a couple here. One, two, three. This is Chunk of Dark Moonstone and Sucker Stone and Sticky White Stuff. And I. My item burden's not all that high. Treasure ahead. What kind of treasure is that? And. Storied Soldier's Soul. And then we have. One, two. Oh, alright. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Not just. Not very little, but actually, this would be. Perfect fireball fodder if I actually manage to line them up. Cool, cool. Yeah, we got multiple, which is great. But, question is, can I... Yeah, okay. But wait, what just... What was that? Oh, presumably it was one of those big things from before. Okay. Alright then, alright then. Cool. Much more grass. See the white stuff. Yes. Valuable item. This is the Ronin's Ring and another Hiltless. A second Hiltless. Alright. It's not bad, but I did not expect that or particularly request it. And, ooh, alright. Well, that worked again, but still. Soccer Stone. Hmm. Then we have. More if we don't go around the same way, but I can 
Yeah, but seriously, what are those things and how am I supposed to negotiate them? Okay, one, two. Bleed, though. It's interesting how they were basically ra well, because it was rapid poison, not bleed, but basically enemies that can build up bleed in Bloodborne. Like a mist. Sort of bleeding mist. Okay. Anything else in here? Just. It's basically a soccer stone farm, I guess. We do. I still find it interesting how they tried to make the item economy in this game work. It. I think it would be wrong to call it unsuccessful, but I think it would also be wrong to call it successful. It was just very different and very weird and unique. And this? Okay. Huh. One, two, three. Phosphorescent slugs. One, two, two, three. One, two. Hmm. Sucker stone, white star. Or white stuff. Okay. Not going to make the obvious joke. And then. Huh. But seriously, those weird magic things. You gotta kill all the relevant slugs. And what is that over there? Bottomless pit or what thing is that I can use? Is to kind of tell where I've been. I haven't been down there yet, actually. See which slugs I've killed and which ones I haven't. Oh, okay. Get close enough and it just detonates, as one does. Hi. Hello. Huh. Oh, welcome back. Yeah, they're glowing slugs. How are you doing? They are the phosphorescent slugs. Which will also show up in another area connected to the Moonlight Great Sword. Uh, well, if you're sleepy, then sleep, maybe. If you feel like it. How are you? How have you been? Thing is, we don't want to get blown up. You're surviving. Why surviving instead of thriving? But, we are almost done, basically. It's not a long game. Well, I gotta backtrack a little to go to another pit trap, but mostly here. And, I don't know, but I'd like it to happen. One, two, three. Maybe, maybe when you get to watch me be in pain. I think that might be the safest estimate. The big thing is, sometimes those things explode. But I can't tell what makes it happen, because it's not proximity. It's not like I've been hitting them with anything. This is another eye stone. Come on, come on, and over here might be... What is... Okay, if we get that close, then it detonates. I think this way, or... Okay, and this is a side way. Always! You, you don't have to... You don't have to ask for permission. You can just do it. You can just tell me things. I'm never going to refuse you. Oh? Is this about Pokemon Special, then? Pokemon Adventures? Either way, I gotta backtrack a little, actually. Because there was a pitfall trap with patches before that I avoided. So I wonder if I could get around through another way, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Well, because it's usually about that. It was just my best estimate. Sometimes I'm right about things. Sometimes. Don't underestimate me too much. Underestimate me just the right amount. The big thing is, we gotta go through to... That won't work. Right now there is... That's the old Heroes Arena, so this is just this giant mausoleum. Well, actually, it's underground enough that I suppose it would be a tomb rather than a mausoleum, but I gotta go back to... It's a pretty far run. Back to the pit to free... St. Urbane, the advanced miracle teacher. As in, hacks based off of Pokemon Adventures, or just a hack in general. But there are lots of- there were a couple of Reapers that were summoning these Shadow Apparition men to fight me, who were really, really annoying because they resisted pretty much every damage type. So what about it then? What kind of thing did you notice that just infuriated you due to it, due to it being glaringly wrong? 
Oh, okay, I didn't see that. That's more grass, which is good. Yeah, well, they might show up again. Probably not. Either way, you'll get to see Patches again. Your favorite person, Patches, because he pushes me down pits. Okay, tell me about it. Your crystal wizard somewhere. He's right through here. The storm beasts were never alive, by the way. Chinese and translated. Okay. Here's fluorescent water. Hello. Have a look at them. We'll work out a. He's just gonna kick me. So this is the first example of Patches kicking it down. All right. So how am I gonna get out of here? Don't hold it against me, eh? Thanks. Take your time, starving to death. Then I'll sell every last trinket off your corpse. <laughs> More or less what he says in Dark Souls 1, too, I think. Oh, wow. That's cool. So basically, you're learning Chinese. Oh, and wait, that's... How is... Why is there a black phantom down there? Wait, what? After the Pokemon League. Oh, it's just blocking the way out, isn't it? Well, whatever. Hi. St. Urbane. Heavens. Did you fall for that little devil's Maybe trap? Maybe I did. Well... I did the same. Well, me now I'm stuck here. I should be outside dark, for some souls. As I said, evil, pray with me. Umbasa. Umbasa. I'm just gonna kill that guy. The bad guy. Thanks. Well, okay, but okay. But have prayed for Thanks. Umbasa. Thanks. Okay. Well, the fact that not everyone is in Chinese is more surprising than them being in Chinese in the first place. Okay, and what ended up happening then? What shocked you? Let's see. This is 282 versus 219. Seems to be a bit better, but you are simple and weak. Okay, ooh, all right, and thanks. Oh, come on, I think that Fireball might be a bit better just because the, what? All right, because of the AoE maybe? All right, I know it's just bonky with the pole. Thank you, oh, the bonk stick would have done even better, arguably. That's all. What are you going to drop? What are you going to drop? You're going to drop Dark Moonstone and Ephemeral Eyes. Oh, did you cleanse the another world dark soul? Another dark soul the today? Dark Souls. God has chosen you. Thanks. And for that, we are thankful. Great. Umbasa. Umbasa. Go back to the Nexus soon. God. Umba. Okay. All right. Keep on going. Connect to the outside. This is our way to freedom. Well, as long as you enjoy it, I guess. Maybe you'll end up learning Chinese, and then you can correct me on what things actually mean in Genshin. So where is this going to lead you then? Oh, over here. This door opens back up, so there is no way around. Hi there, hello. You, you. I escaped. Hey, look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Yeah, I bet you didn't. <laughs> A man's got to what make what a is it like? Right? Make up for it. Here, look. Oh. I can make up for oh. It. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. I know. Oh. Here, take this as a token. It's going to be a stone of Emeraldizer. You've seen one of these before, sure. Oh, okay. Ring of gash resistance. I think I have that already, though. <laughs> Come on, let's be friends. What do you say? Okay. No need to drag each other down. Okay. Okay. No need to. Whatever. Oh, well, okay. That is the important part. So, again, you know when people are yelling at you or otherwise insulting you. So. We are going to go all the way down over there. The island's really tall. It's got a big spire. Kind of reminds me of some of the Golden Apple Archipelago areas. Day one, no Genshin mentioned challenge. Impossible. Okay. And how much do I? Got a good amount of grass, but I'll get more once I go to Bulletari Inner Ward, so I'll live. What do you mean, not you this time? Mentioning it? You don't mention it often, it's mostly me. I'm the one who's addicted to the game. Again, you don't even play it anymore. You freed yourself. You're free. You grew your wings and started flying. That little part over there at the base of the island is 
where we're going to fight the final boss of the area, which is... Fair enough. I don't think there's anything wrong with mentioning Pokemon, though. I don't think anyone would find that objectionable in the same kind of way. So the Reaper Scythe is actually... They added it in the remake as a digital deluxe exclusive promo weapon. And they kind of chose the worst of both worlds, because not only is it exclusive, but it's completely unupgradable. So they took what could be a cool weapon to have and made it a useless trophy. Okay, and can't get that. So the old hero over here is going to be... He's weak to fire, and I could try using the Thief's Ring, because he is death. Completely death. Is it, oh, he should be through here, right? Or Legendary Soldier Soul, and I think he's going to just come down over here on... Yep, there he is. Oh? So what is it? Okay. And if you take a look at him, you can see that his lips are peeled off, basically, which the remake changed. It's blindfolded, therefore blind. So, you gotta hide from him variously. If you have a thief's ring, he just can't spot you any kind of way. So he tracks you by sound, but it should be fine no matter what. Okay. Cool. Just... And... Okay. If we just keep our distance, we should be fine. Okay. Cool. Ooh, alright. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Interesting. I... Thieves Ring could be nice for this. Maybe. I think he's... Okay. Dodge. And... I want to fight this guy normally. Oh. Maybe not. Oh! You... No offense, but you misread that. What they said was that... Not, not a new co-op game specifically, but implementing co-op mechanics similar to that in a certain mod in their games in the future. Which is not the same as a new game focused on co-op. Okay, the big thing is... Now he can't hear us, which is important she as long as we stay away from him. Can't do all that much to me. Okay. Yeah, we can just wait for a stuff to recharge. Okay. Yeah, I... I would not be surprised if something was lost in translation. But very specifically, what it was about was... There was a mod that I actually want to try out eventually called Seamus Co-op which allows you to play through all of Elden Ring in cooperative gameplay. And... Well, let me just see. Wait for that to poke back up. The big thing is... Can he see me? Kinda, not really. Yeah, he's completely blind. There's a mod called the Seamless Co-op mod that gives you... The ability to play through the entire game in co-op is normally... It's based on a summoning system that, among other things, is limited to specific areas. That walls get put up in the game world that prevent you from getting too far away. And, you know, limit the area you can co-op in. Which... Just makes things difficult if you're interested in trying to play the game consistently with other people. But the seamless co-op mod just lets you play through everything together. The big thing about it, though, that a lot of people don't like is that it basically turns off invasions and mechanic altogether. And the, the big reason that happens is because, at least previously, the big thing is that the game has... In, the mod makers figured out how to recently bypass it, but basically a hard-coded limit of six people in a single world. Because that would mean three people cooperating with you and then up to two invaders. If I recall correctly, it was specifically two slots for co-op players, normal co-op players you summon. And every co-op player you summon lets someone invade. And then an extra slot that's reserved for hunters. We're kind of like dork moons in... 
well, kind of like Dark Moons in Dark Souls 2 and 3, in that some people, if they equip a certain ring, can get summoned to do co-op when people get, specifically for people who get invaded. And basically, originally, though it got changed because they figured out a way around it, there were no invasions available because every single of those six slots in the initial version of the Seamless Co-op mod was reserved for cooperators. Though to be fair, you could actually change the rules, quote-unquote, of the co-op session to allow you to do PvP. So either by turning friendly fire on, which is what I would want to do, because it would make things more interesting and prevent things from getting too easy. That way we wouldn't be able to abuse really good AoE spells when they have to plan to avoid hitting each other. Oh, there's a random Reaper here. It's what, oh, because it fell down from above, because this arena is also where I fought those Reapers below that. But you can also just turn on PvP as in have players treat each other as enemies and be able to target each other. The Hero Demon Soul, which is pretty good, and this is straight to, I think, the Storm King. But before that, I should do a bit of leveling up. Back to the Nexus. And the Hero Demon Soul that I got there is not what I need at the moment. What I need right now is... Well, weapon I get from it is interesting, but I don't need it at the moment. And there you are. Thanks to you. Refuge. Now I stay it's replacement. The supplement who was here got replaced and is gone. Now. If you wish for benevolent Bring me demon souls. I will cleanse them. Miracle with their power. Ah, Astraya. I'm not sure. Night girl of England. Never, never turned evil turn with that night to guide her. It's slander. It's backstabbing. Well, he's wrong. In demon souls. Vito. The Vito, that was Sire and Isterel and Selan Vinland. So those are the three Many honorable knights holy knights whose weapons we can get to the blind Isterel and the Moonlight the Sword. The vicious rumors about so Valley Defilement is basically the end game area. Sense of respect for God's name. Because they're so echoey? However, the entire point is that the Nexus is a very great supernatural place. Could it be? Does not resonate there, fear those left behind. If you truly talisman are, God's image, with the talismans, the special power, land with a special well, because power. it's the old one. Let me see. After the dark Calling miracles spread across the again. land, the will of God we must demons defeat and the curse, and purge the evil magician. The magician. Of souls. As you know, power so emanating demons, lesser power, present predicament, freak, and the candle and maiden. Are no exception. Maiden Black is a demon too. We must defeat and the curse and let me check some of this dialogue. Saint Urbane. Let me see. Come on. He said God's way of telling us we must stand up to the demons. Let's learn. Recovery is interesting. I don't need that. I have. Don't have the demon souls required. Antidote. May as well buy that and cure any status statements. So the miracles that he makes from Demon Souls are counter signs of a sort. Banish, we already use that. Insane old man. Power of God against tremendous malice. But it doesn't say it's a counter sign against the demon there. Don't matter like. Second chance. Counter sign against pagans who worship death and the dead. So those reapers who are resurrecting. That could be useful. Generation, Adjudicator, but we don't have that. Devours humans. Don't have that. Wriggling demon soul, leech monger. Poison disease accumulant in the filthy valley floor. That's. That's the question. God would be. bless this brave Thank you. Umbasa. Umbasa. And. Do, do we get further gifts to offer? Oof. Okay. Where are you going? Okay, well, I'm gonna get a couple of levels from everything I got there. And then go beat the final. E Enemy in that area. Just the demon inside me. Seek soul power. Upgrade my luck. Upgrade my dexterity. The sad thing is, I won't be able to use the Moonlight Greatsword in this one. Magic. And then. Strength. Faith. And probably vitality. Cool. Help the world be mended. Let's give. Some of our stuff to you. Thank you. I was Word sick. Deposit items. Send this away. Don't need that. 
With that, Dark Moonstone. Chunk of Moon Shadow. Another Hilt List, another Dagger. White Boat is an old wood, legendary weapon. Extreme long range, that's what Ulan uses, I believe. I need these arrows. With a White Boat, extremely high. Provides evil, enhanced with magic, and that. But it doesn't seem to scale with anything from what I can tell, though. Saint's Row, male only, so Saint Urbane's clothes. Like works while traveling, many layers of cloth bundled together. Hmm. Okay. Same description for all of them. For a little we less are... on this indebted to you, fought on our behalf. So I do have another. I could upgrade my crease. Oh, right, I should have been. I did that wrong. I needed to use a colorless demon soul. Upgrade the crease blade so that its magic bonus would be a bit stronger. Well, be able to use that shortly. We'll be alright. How much is in there? That's pretty good. Talisman of Beast scales off of both intelligence and faith, and it's probably my best option in terms of damage for pretty much everything. Okay. Let's go over here. Hello. Let's upgrade with Crease Blade. We have one color with Steven Soul, and that will increase the increase. The magic damage bonus on that. Definitely focusing on the pull, though. We'll see what happens. Oh, but I need my sharpness ring back. That's right. Magical sharpness, some magic power, and... Alright, cool. I should've just evacuated, though. Let's go back to the Nexus. Then we got... Ah. Oh. Gotta go back to Storm Demon Land. Shine old hero Archstone, Purification, Heroes remains off with the Storm King, Things up the Sky, accompanied by Storm Beasts. Purified and mourned in the storm. Empty skeletons move out freely, Storm Beasts fly above. Storm Beasts are those manta rays who shoot their stingers at you and they're annoying. Oh, I didn't even notice, but Ed is turning into a dragon too. Getting those scales. Okay. And this is gonna be final boss of the area. Shouldn't take long. Then there's just Valley of Defilement. Final boss of that area. And then I'll probably do my World Tennessee events around then. In the, eh. I also have Inner Ward first. I'll do World Tennessee after Inner Ward and the Penetrator boss. But it's got that one eye. Honestly, it looks a bit like... I was gonna say... Not... Is the Manta Ray boss... It's a bit like the... Georgs from... Minish Cap. Big thing is, all we gotta do is... Run over, and this area is literally just a boss arena. Over there... Big thing is that the whole island is over there, but it loads in kind of weirdly. It's not entirely. There's a bit of geographic simplification there. Big thing is we can. Oh my goodness. I can kill some of these guys, can't I? I might like to. Would probably like to. And die, die. Take these guys down, and the big thing is that you have projectile options even if you aren't a magic user because of the sword you get from here. And alright, cool. And it's actually, you will probably recognize the sword here, I would think, because you have seen it before, slightly different form. The big thing is, you should kill these guys, make things easier. Or it could be funny and hit the Storm, Storm King with soul arrows. That'd probably work too. And soul ray. Soul ray. Getting rid of these guys right now is also convenient. But I, mm -hmm. Okay. Get you. Some of your stone dropped down, but as well clear our path a little. Make things a little easier for myself. New Moon Grass, that's a full heal. And then we can. Wonder, I don't think they spawn in infinitely here. Wouldn't presume they would, but I don't know. Oh, alright. Thanks. And. Hit. And we got you. Yeah, I think we've got most of them down. 
presumably. And alright, alright. Let's get out of the way of that soul ray. And thanks. Ooh, alright. Now I need full moon grass for almost a full deal. Then we got you, now that we've gotten rid of your little little babies. Question is it Ooh, a storm of Oh, that's crazy. Okay, cool. Interesting. I need to, well, be able to see it for one, but there's one over there, and Cloudstone, and, ooh, alright, thanks, cool, and do ooh, alright, dodge, or not, thanks, got that, and so what else, what else then? I'll just hit you with magic, how much damage would that actually deal? Big thing is that the Storm Ruler over here is the gimmick weapon you're supposed to use to trivialize this fight. But I just want to see if I use this as cover. Yeah, okay, cool. Thanks. Which damage will this do? Oh, that's quite good. It does cost mana, though. You know, there is nothing to use that weapon for other than this fight. Well, there are crystal wizards here. Cool. Thanks. One. And one's gonna go off. Whatever. Cool. Dark Moonstone. It's over here should be our... Yep, and it's actually just right over here. Withdraw the sword and... Ah, the Storm Ruler. Fine. Let's take some cover. And the Storm Ruler... This is... Word Sword of the Thorny Blade, named for one who calms storms. Sisters of the Shadow Men rent the storms and clouds in the sky with it. Then, much of its power loss, average warrior's sword, is in the bottom with force where ancestral spirits slumber, awaken its ancient power to rend the sky. Alright then. Let's try this. Ah, interesting. And what if I. Well, it can't be upgraded if I recall correctly, and it has no scaling. Pretty high weight. It'd be funny to just be unable to wield it because you're. We're carrying too much. And uh, we need to take out some things, presumably. Ah, uh, okay. Spent too much time just being funny. Okay. Cool. That's. Oh, well. You know what? We can just use all this crescent grass. We're in a safe spot. But it's basically. It's got the same name as. Similar weapon from. Dark Souls 3. Same kind of thing. And whiz. Blood attack versus strong attack better. Let's see. I, I'm not sure there's any difference. It's a thing. Huh. Actually might have a bit more range. Well, I... Let's see how much damage this does. Again, it's... It's the only place we'll ever be able to use this weapon for anything, really, so... May as well do it. Get over here. Get over here. Uh, but the Soul Ray was strong, too, actually. The Soul Ray was actually very, very strong. I like that. Felt good about myself and my accomplishments. And we can... Run, 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 and... Ooh, alright. Thanks. Cool. Thank you, and... Oh, well, alright. And... Oh, that deals less. Actually deals a good deal less. I... You know, I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. Okay. Okay, so in that case, it's back to the funny soul ray. This time we'll be using Creasploid, then. Cool. Probably take off Creasploid when it gets in close. So it would probably lead to taking some damage that I might not want to take, and well, this, ooh, all right, okay, funny, oh, but, okay, that level of homing is actually impressive, in a bad way, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, it's not like this is a hard fight, it's just, you have to wait till it gets in range. It's a gimmick fight. Or Cloudstone and Big Old Tail. Huh. 
Maybe a few more hits should do it, but especially we've got the crease blade, we've got Ring of Magical Sharpness. Nothing should really be in my way now, but I. Oh, okay. Let's just run, run. Goodbye. Wait, what? Huh? That's so stupid. Okay. Huh. Nonsense. It's just. The game is fun, but a lot of it doesn't feel like a test of skill as much as just. Oh, sometimes you get one shot. Hope you don't get one shot. Especially because, well, it's. Soul form is so punishing. It's. If I was at half health, pretty much all of those things would be one shots, and to be fair, a lot of it is. You need vitality so much in this game. Okay. Hmm. Put that back, and presumably we should have the sword now. Now we have the sword now, but we won't be using it. Presumably. Huh. It's a bit of grass used up. Okay. Well, Alright. Don't need to see that again. Okay then, cool. Let's just take most of these guys down with our pull up and uh the annoying thing is just that I need to do all that again. Thanks, alright. Cool. And oh that did not quite hit. It is long ranged, but at least all of these guys give souls. That's some small copper. And cool. Oh, come on, I Okay. Mm hmm I... Using Soul Rain is going to be a better way to do this fight, honestly. Well, that's sad. Storm Ruler is... Honestly, a range question more than anything else. Is it, I think it does hit a bit more easily, too. In spite of everything. Thanks. Cool. Right, and... Okay. And... Oh, I need to... Okay. That was narrow. That was close. Uh, oh, well... Uh, Alright. Cool, just strafe, strafe. Thank you. Cool. Hmm. Funny manta ray. But the Storm King's design was the ones that was actually changed most in the remake. And people have a lot of strong feelings about that. So it looks... The thing about it is that the Storm King is explicitly the god that the pagan shadow men in this area worships. And... It looks a lot scarier, I would say, in the remake's design. It doesn't really look like the kind of thing that people would see as worthy of worship. It's subjective, but I think you can catch. I think you know what I'm trying to say. That it was it was a certain element of the design that they did not feel was all that important to retain. Okay. Alright. Alright then. Okay, and... Interesting, interesting. So basically getting it from behind while being in this middle portion seems to be the best way. Crease blade combined with everything else should be good, but I'm going to take these guys out as quickly as possible. Thank you. Let's try to avoid them before more garbage happens. Subjected more crap, and uh, of course, the annoying thing is how they kind of duck under when that happens. Okay, cool. Use some full grass. And, okay. I can't see anything, is the thing. Worst part, and. Okay, there you are. Kinda. Thanks. And take it out. There is. Just enough for one more at the moment, and there are two more storm beasts. So I have to be very slow and steady with this one. And can I even use this? Can I use this as shelter? I can't use that as shelter, it seems. That's certainly something. That died. Cool thing is I can see the top of the place that way. But it's sitting on all those missiles, and I. Uh, can I. Huh. The area where it locks onto is really quite something. Okay, cool. Thank you for spreading the wings. We will 
Your sacrifice will be in vain because I'm killing your father. Okay. So this is Holy Arrow. This might be or it's for no time to read messages. Hmm. Oh, Alright. Let me just take out the crease blade and see if I can hit you here. And can I Yeah, really good damage. Okay, cool. Gotta regenerate and wait for it to fly by again. A place where we can hit it adequately. This is a good spot to be hiding though. It said it's kind of a one-way street, one-way path. Okay. Let's hide in here. I guess the question is, will I be able to hit with a... Thank you, thank you. Hit with a fireball or the soul ray, the only thing I could hit with. It's probably soul ray only. Oh, actually it's not. Okay. Mmm, but it's close. Are some issues, but now, the crease blade in conjunction. Very, very useful. Very, very effective. Phosphorus and pull for regen and the crease blade for damage. So I'm basically switching between an offensive mode and a regenerative mode. That's cool. That's fun. Scotta. For all that to go through and we should be able to get a few nice hits in. One. Oh, but right. We need to switch out. And three split, three split. And this should be it. There we are. Dead Storm King. And of course magic was useful. And it was almost a, a little over a 33% increase from having the crease void out. It's really good. Cut of Cloudstone and Storm Demon Soul and the Pure Cloudstone. Pure Cloudstone, rare Pure Cloudstone, shields in particular. So some of the some of the bosses drop pure versions of certain smithing ores, but some of them are just you get them or you don't from wizards or other enemies. Let's poke around this area a bit more, but the cool thing is, like I said, you can see that island over there, and it's just, you start on a promontory and work your way down. I really like that. Especially since you can't really see the water all that much because of the way the edges work, so you might presume that you're basically about as close as you can get when you start out, but simply not the case. Thanks. Two, three. One, two, three. Dark Moonstone and oh, a pure Dark Moonstone. Fun. So, if I ever wanted to use those upgrades, which frankly I probably don't, I'd be able to clone those. Savage. But it's just off in the middle of nowhere. There's no obvious connection to the rest of Bolotari. It's just this pagan island. Okay. Come on, come on. Storied Hero's Soul, and let's get additional levels out of this. Chunk of Cloudstone, and can I reach any of the others? Well, most of them are, yep, floating up in the air, because they only wait a little bit before just spawning their item drop. Let's go back to the Nexus, and there's only one more 